Trash to Cash Podcast, episode 53. Hello, everyone. I'm Dave, the NC Picker. With me, as always, is Carrie, American Arbitrage. And I'm in my studio. First my studio. time guest, Art from... What's your channel name, Art? Oh, uh, The Art of Resale. The Art the of latest. Resale. I literally blacked out on it. Like, I just totally forgot their, their channel Las name. So, Vegas really. is, Las Vegas is number two picker, Art of Resale. Number, blanked number one. out, not blacked out. Who's You're looking one? at him. You're looking actually you Dawn. Go, okay. Technically, okay. technically, it's Dawn. Dawn is Le- number one. Legally, Carrie I have to. I'm like 14. I'm 14. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> You're even now like further down one. the chain now that you met all these new people. I right? know. I know. The more people <laughs> I meet, the lower I get. Hold on. Don't leave yet. Kevin might show up, guys. I know you're trying to leave because Kevin's not here. He told us he might come, but he's having some problems today. Yes. His wife texted Carrie and I, and I will yes. read you her exact message, okay? Exact message. Okay, and she said, Just waited 20 minutes for Kevin to take a poop at some random gas station. He's ruining our travel time, and I know only you two would care to know about the situation. And I believe, and Carrie believes, that you all would also care to know. I think there's a good amount of people who think Kevin doesn't even poop at all. They think he just, like, resorbs the food into his body? Yeah, he reabsorbs the food, and it just gets eaten by, like, the unborn twin or something. I don't know how it works. But, yeah, no, he he does a lot, and it's aggressive. (laughs) so art basically kevin has diarrhea and so we don't know if he's showing up he probably had taco bell he does love his baja blast so is that the buckies could be the buckies so he may show up may not it will be uh we'll definitely give him a hard time if he does um how have have your stools been lately um they've been very healthy very good Coming out this is a reselling podcast is nah. where we talk about reselling i haven't had corn in eight years but yet mm. every time there's corn that's Have you pretty seen crazy. those tiktok conspiracies about corn no let's no, hear I it haven't. i'm always yeah, into the know, crazy conspiracies i know the birds oh, yeah, aren't real i know birds are real i love, birds I love talking real. about it so there, a lot of those conspiracies 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 about why our body can't digest the corn shell i don't know mm. it's just fun to watch but supposedly we're not supposed to be eating corn this whole time mm. Okay. I don't know. I don't it's know. supposed to be the gasoline in our cars, right? Isn't that what ethanol is? Yeah, yeah, exactly, exactly. It's fuel. Mm. You know, we feed it to animals, but, you know, our body's not supposed to be eating it. Does popcorn I count? Um, I don't know. I'm not a popcorn guy. I hate popcorn, let's, actually. Let's actually what? go down. You hate popcorn? I, I, I wow. hate really? popcorn. Hold on. I'm removing art from the show. Yeah, I know. <laughs> yeah, we look, both me and Dave love popcorn. Like, we go to movies uh, for the popcorn, and if it's a movie that's decent, that's a plus. But it's basically for the popcorn. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. We should go down this line of conspiracies, though. I think that would be a good topic overall for the show. I don't All know. Right, how about I, alien? Oh, we got a bunch, bunch of aliens. Oh, yeah. I want to be abducted. Let this be known. I'm putting the secret. This is the secret. Putting it out in the universe. I want to be abducted. For the probe? Lie. You're looking for the not probe? Not for the probe. <laughs> Mostly just to see, there. like, kind of like MTV Cribs. I want to see what they got going on up there. But really, you know the I mean? probe. I got you. No. Well, I mean, like, that's going to be just an added. <laughs> it's an adventure. I mean, <laughs> that's part of the experience. I'm not going to not get my money's worth. But. <laughs> yeah, you I, might as well. I'm fascinated. In all serious, I'm terrified and fascinated by aliens. So. Listen, Art, did you... And, Carrie, I heard you. I just didn't care. Art, okay, did you go fair. to this reseller remix? The Boss reseller no, I remix? Didn't. I did it. I did it. Nice. I went to... No, I went to... I, no, no, no. I went to the first night right before the whole... For, like, a minute. For one minute, just to say what's up to a couple of people, but that was it. I, I never talked to nobody and didn't see nobody there at all. So but which was, reseller there do you hate? Like, why didn't you go? You hate how many oh, of the people? people? There's a huge <laughs> list. That list is huge. <laughs> Uh, no, ahead. air it no, out. Cool. Air it out, Art. Oh uh, no! Yesterday I got to meet with uh, G- uh, Jimmy Old School Flips, uh, Chris and Real Squirrel. Like I saw, I saw a Monkey. I'm uh, Monkey. Uh, Mikey uh, Money Bags. So. Yeah. Oh yeah, Monkey Money Bags is pretty good. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> monkey Bags of Money. <laughs> well, here's the thing. You guys said you were going to the swap meet. I didn't really want to go to the swap meet, but I didn't know you guys were going garage selling first. But to be fair, it's not like I was going to get up at 5.30 and go with you guys. No, there was but no that's chance. Wait, I got garage selling like 9.30, 10 at a reasonable time. I don't know how still you found that, stuff. That's a waste. That's a waste. That of is time. such a waste of time. Can <laughs> you waking up it? at nine o'clock, bro. Ten o'clock. Dude, that's... and you know what's crazy? Art is I. Speaking of TikTok conspiracies, I saw one today that said if you sleep ten hours, you're sleeping too much. You age faster. You become less uh, intelligent, and that. you get AIDS. I don't know about that part, <laughs> but I, I, it's, ten hours is way too much. 
way too much. That's crazy. <laughs> New health fear unlocked. Too soon, is it too soon for AIDS? <laughs> it's too soon for AIDS jokes still, right? Like, that's not, think, yeah. that's no good. Sorry, like guys. My bad. My bad. No, that's fine. That's... All right, you've got an um, eclectic mix behind you. What's all What's all behind you in your uh, little... Yeah, I know a lot of people are listening to the show, but you can describe it a little bit. There's a lot going oh. on back there. There's a, so there's a ton of Funko Pops towards this side, football players. Star mm. Wars Funko Pops, Legos... Um, Pokemon crap and all this other stuff, but oh, you actually some... collect the crap from the Pokemons? Like after I they battle, actually, they yeah, crap on the floor and you pick nice. it up. Nice, I do actually. Nice. Put in a this show is bad here. without Kevin. <laughs> yeah, really they don't, Kevin. They don't talk a lot. Of, they talk a lot about Pokemon and Pikachu, but not the waste management afterwards. Yeah, they don't really yeah, art yeah, collects all it. stuff that I found throughout the years. Just wow, can't get rid of it yet. I mean, listen, we like to do really in-depth interviews of our guest art. So tell us about how you started reselling, and we'll take a pretty quick nap while you tell us. Yeah, we're going to take a nappy nap real quick. So it all started back in 99. (laughs) 99? That's when you were born, bro. No, how 94, old? actually. 94. In 94. Yeah, 94 so you, in okay, so you were like five. All right. I did math there on the fly. No yeah, calculator. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. No, it just started out with my dad. My dad used to go to the local flea market here. And uh, just go with him on the weekends, see what he was doing, and just gradually grow from there. You said your dad? Really was. Yeah, my dad was all. Uh, did he like sell early, or he bought? Early 2000s, he was really into buying storage units before the mm-hmm. whole storage wars. And uh, just me being around that growing up, you know, for like 10 plus years, I've seen him waking up early. Going out there, just lessing his all day. Yeah, yeah. So, did right. you did you get up with him and do the storage auctions or no? Yes, I actually did. So, since I was so really? small, like six, six, seven years old, I would cut through people and I would stand in front of the because you know how when you're walking to see a storage unit to bid on it, you yeah, know, you get a couple seconds to look at it and then walk away. You know, nobody was going to tell a seven year old, "Hey, kid, you got to keep going." So, I would like look at things and I'll go <laughs> run to my dad. I'm like, Dad, there's a TV over here. There's a box that says DVDs. Nice. You know, you give him intel. Ta- yeah, I would tell him everything. And then by the time he gets there, I was like, okay, yeah, I saw that. I saw that. I saw that. And wow. uh, just gradually like that, I, I learned right away about, you know, what's, what a dollar, what, what it took to make money. You know what I mean? So did they, didn't they record some Storage Wars in Vegas? Oh, yeah, yeah. It was yeah. a Storage oh, Wars oh, Vegas no. or something. A couple of the people on that show, I actually know who they are. Like Dave Hester? Yep. Okay. Oh, no, 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 you know. no, 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 this is uh, one of the chubby ones. Um, I, oh. I do recognize him. Like I'm sure if you want to see my face, you want to know who the hell I am. But uh, yeah, it's that, well, that show's all fake, man. It's all scripted and all that. What? I know. What? Yeah, you even know that. Come on. What? what? My it's my vision and my dream has just what? been shattered. <laughs> I don't. I don't even want to watch TV anymore. <laughs> Dude, I mean, I there's so much good content there. Like, why did they need need to do the fake like score? in all those shows like i yeah, want them to do know, a reselling show that's actually like realistic i don't know what it is about like storage unit even youtube like it's like it's got to be like a dead body or something in every storage unit or it, i feel like it's gold. just yeah it's like everything's got to be really i don't know what it is about storage units as a genre but it's all about like just random like madness it feels like yeah but no. to be fair you were telling me that if you were gonna put a dead body somewhere it would be in a storage unit you had said that to me you didn't no, say that? Yeah. Wow, he's, he's just a, totally denying that. See, that's the, how you know it's real when he denies it that fast. Look, <laughs> look, Lake Mead is quickly drying. We're running out of space, okay? We don't know where to put him. You don't want to make Carrie angry, mm. Art. You don't <laughs> I tell you want to make him angry. The people at the Swami at the flea market here, um, these guys find, like, killer, killer loggers. Like, it's stupid how cheap some of these things are getting. And these yeah. guys are getting crazy, crazy turnover. Like thousands and thousands of dollars for like investing a couple hundred bucks and you even know that carrie some of the things that people have is just nuts nuts yep wow that's for sure so are you still buying storage lockers in your flipping life or not really oh hell no no i have no room for a storage unit it's just space yeah yeah just space you know what i mean like my my goal is to like one day uh build a you know a storage in my backyard, like that one guy, Kevin, you know how he has like yeah. two years. The Commonwealth Pickler? Yeah. He's you know, the, worst. Cat, the, the worst. The worst. Well, you see, know, you got to trick your fans into buying it for you, Art. That's true. This is what and you got to do. See, here's the rub. He tricked him into buying it for him, and then mm-hmm. he sponsored it. Are they getting any money back? Do they get anything oh, for this on, investment? There's one thing I always wanted question. to say on this. There's one thing I always wanted to say. Can I say something real quick? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Why uh, not? One Don't thing I always wanted to say, 
I want to. I want to give a huge just, thank you to somebody. You can, okay. you can end it real quick. Yeah. Can you hurry America up? America Bubble this? Boy. American oh, Bubble American Bubble Boy. Boy. Oh, okay. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, American yeah, yeah. Bubble. Yeah, that's Dude, fair. Shout out to oh, Bubble and American Bubble Boy, the greatest bubble rap that's out there. The best bubble rap. They're the best until our sponsorship runs up. Then we're gonna go straight to Walmart with me to get bubble wrap. But until then. You know, I never got paid by that new sponsor. They said they were going to pay me. They never did. Oh, I guess we can't are you talk talking about them to yet. them? Yeah, I, I was talking talk to them, to too. Hey, you know, Art, one cool thing about American Bubble Boy Bubble Wrap while living in Vegas is you can go to Circus Circus. They can stab you, and it actually will block the stab. That's true. So, it's true. you yeah, know, it's safety at Circus. Would you say Circus Circus is the worst hotel in Vegas or, like, sketchiest? It's got to be the Strat, right? <laughs> it, um, Like, on Strip. I'm not talking off Strip. I would, yeah, I would probably say, yeah. Honestly, I don't Sweet. go there at all, but yeah, I would you gotta take that, it though. back, man. Mm. Take it back, Carrie. So, you're so, using your ring light wrong. Okay, can I we just address this, guys? Carrie do, has I, his ring light. He bought that's an expensive beautiful. ring light. That's it's like beautiful. the one I have. It's like 150 bucks, right? 129. Yeah, and he's instead of ring light? dude. Yeah, no, how much he spent on that? Much, it's Maybe it was 79. I can't remember. I bought it my stuff a while ago. Yeah. Wow, well, crazy. regardless, Carrie, instead of pointing it at his face, has it behind his head. Listen, <laughs> changing. Colors. This is called this is called keeping up with the Joneses. I knew you would have your whole thing backlit with your new Oculus Meta Pro in the background or whatever the heck. You <laughs> Dude, have they now. do have a new Oculus. It's twenty two hundred bucks. I'm excited about I not being it. able to wow. afford it. What? It's and AR then, plus VR, so and it's I like art was gonna have sick. like like crazy lighting but he didn't it's just kind of it's pretty cool but there's no i thought he was going to be like super lighted out too so just no. because he's like you just like look at art and you're like this dude's no, better art's than me like a, art is just art be is than me. art is the next harry tornado or the first art however you want to put it but he's, he's definitely the first art first it's art, true when he's at a million five subscribers next year and we're all just asking for shout outs remember yeah. That that we we were the launching pad for that. We oh yeah, so we're the launching pad. This is actually taking you there, Art. Trash you know, to cash. This is launched Herald yeah. Tornado. Actually, yeah. I don't know if you knew oh, that. I, I told <laughs> this. This is your number one watched video. Dude, good. Bring it without Kevin. Let's good luck. It. Let's do it. You guys, no, no, no. This is no. gonna be your number one. I'm not gonna say in a week or a couple months or in a couple. Well, give me a couple years. This might be your number one video that people are gonna Listen. look back to. Anyone who's still here, they're the true podcast fans. They stuck it out even without Kevin here. And they're like, yeah. you know what? We know the, the real, real podcast the real is ones. Dave and Carrie. No, listen. When Kevin wasn't have... here, the retirement homes immediately changed it to Bonanza. They took it off the air, and they're not even playing it anymore. Sorry, they go ch- ahead, Dave. Like the, the reselling Bonanza or the show Bonanza? No, yeah, they just put the site on with no no music <laughs> or anything. <laughs> site on the elderly <laughs> they, just, they just wait Here's for Here's Bonanza.com, <laughs> guys. <laughs> this is Kevin's favorite. So, Carrie, do you want to give a shout-out to our VIP patrons? We have a new one. Yes, I'd like to say, hey, Archie Biscuit Butt, you're the man. Feel yep. better. Mm-hmm. Archie's feeling a little sick, so feel oh, no. better, I man. met Archie the other day. Yeah, know, did you punch rad. him in the face? I wanted to. No, I was just playing. No, I he uh he walked up to me at a yard sale and I didn't I didn't recognize him at first. I was like, who the hell are you? His butt, oh, wow. guys. I don't want to break it to you. <laughs> does not look like biscuits at all. You checked it at out? All. Yeah. There was no saying. biscuit action. There's no biscuit action on his butt. <laughs> well, ABC Matt, I believe, is our yes. newest ABC super Matt. fan. We appreciate you, ABC C- Matt. Thank you for being a patron. Make sure you check out his it's whatever actually, it is that he wants us to promote. It's actually a p- Matt. Oh, it's Abkamat. Abkamat. Yeah. What about Media Picker? Oh, he's not a super patron, but whatever. You're you're yeah. shouted out today, Media pa- Media Picker. <laughs> Do you know that Breakfast Picker is now called the Death Pile Picker? Did yeah, you know he that? literally copied the Death Pile support pig and made yeah. his whole YouTube called the Death Pile. He yeah, is called his channel's now in. Death Pile Support Pig Picker. Is I think his he channel did. Really. I, wow, I only watched okay. a little bit of it, but I think he did a reel the other day where his wife was basically just at the storage unit with him, just saying, "We got to get rid of this stuff." <laughs> very on brand. It was, it was on, on brand. brand. It was on brand. Yeah. I, oh, and Art has an NC piggy, and he's done exactly what you're supposed to do. He's kissed it. Oh. You know, if you don't kiss your right NC here. Piggy every now and then, it gets very sad. <laughs> oh, look, see, there he is, sporting there the Death Pile Support Pig. Oh, giving it a little smooch. <laughs> Carrie, where's yours, buddy? Mine's up there. Mm-hmm. That's a long mm-hmm. way. Mm-hmm. That's a long way. Okay, Parker County Picker, Ray's Heckery Cell, and Side Hustle Preacher, and Tanya Arnold. Those are our uh, VIP patrons. Are, you and are notice your name's not on it, Art. 
Your yeah, name's Art. not on it. Why not, Art? Yeah, what's Why going not? on? Let's talk about this. Um, Let's unwrap this. Geez, we will sold out before I can get up on it. Ah, oh, dude, no surprise there. No surprise so there. People love to support fast. us, and we love We're them. America's America's favorite, favorite podcast, podcast about poop and reselling. What'd you say? Art? I probably missed like one episode of you guys. Um, you know, especially when you guys got Kevin on, I really jumped onto it to hear a little yeah. bit more. Dude, yeah. Now, are you OG though? Like, will you listen to the show without OG. Kevin? I am OG. Okay, uh, so I you'll OG. you'll stick around if old man's taking a little nappy nap or a little poopy poop like he's doing yeah. tonight. I don't know, man. Mm-hmm. That guy's he's really on vacation. He's tuckered out from his vacation, so he went on vacation again. Yeah, you can't <laughs> double vacation. Really great. So what do you think about all these like posers trying to make their own podcasts, like the yeah. the let's do lunch and the yeah. reseller clickbait? A lot and the, of posers out there trying to steal our thunder, and mm-hmm. I don't know if we mm-hmm. appreciate it. Honestly, <laughs> um, I don't call them posers, man. You know what I mean? No, you mm-hmm. can't. Like one thing I like about it, I feel like there's not a lot of podcasts out there. I feel like a lot of people start them and they quit them, and I true. hope people yeah, don't. That's true. Them. You know what I mean? Yeah, that's true. One, one that of the be, biggest things I, I like. Well, I'm sorry. What was that? No, I just had to say, let's do lunch is very good. I was on it. It's my favorite episode of theirs. <laughs> I mean, hopefully they get me on there soon, too. If dude, they want, yeah, yeah, one rating, one out of ten. I'm yeah. just they, dude, they want me on there, too. I did tell them it's a $150 appearance fee per minute, and they do an hour and a half show, so it adds up pretty quick, okay. but... You know, Dave's, if you see me on there, I'm excited. Dave's a great way. Put cash. Dave on your channel if you want to just watch it implode. It's a great yeah. way to piss off people. <laughs> yeah. yeah. If you just want to watch your channel fail, just add me to it, and you'll be good. Carrie, your light stopped doing crazy colors. Give it, it time, broken? dude. Okay. Oh, okay. There it is. Now it's blue. I have it. I have it. I have it revved up, and it's C. I told you. Uh, how many hours did you spend programming it? I know you had I to program every it. little look, LED. Look, TikTok colors. Oh. That's not on accident. Wow. It actually, kind of is. Oh, now it's green. Okay, let me hear, Carrie. What do you want to say about the, you know, big boss reseller remix fancy boy thing in Vegas that you spent five hundred dollars to go to, and then you punched three people? Let's hear all about it. Well, all three of them deserved it. To be fair, okay. Fair, and fair, I don't punch fair. people willy nilly. I punch people because I'm blackout drunk. Let's be. Or clear. because you see a Volkswagen Beetle. <laughs> exactly. <That's laughs> I mean, then they deserve it. <laughs> That's what triggers me. Just kidding. I, I don't drink. But um, I did punch three people. That is fair. No, it was it was good. It was good. Here's my favorite thing about it. I will tell you this. My favorite thing about it is they put all the vendors in one room so you could go smooth with them. Like schmooze. before they were There's just. There's an H in yeah. there, isn't there? What do you mean by vendors? Schmoo- schmooze? Is schmooze? it smooze or schmooze? Schmooze. I thought it was schmooze. I don't know how to, know how to, know how to, know how to say it. Comment down below. <laughs> the point is, I went in there and I was working the tables. I was like, eBay, what's up? I'm Carrie. And they're like, okay, we yeah, know yeah. who you are. Well, hold, on, hold, on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. You got to step back a minute because just like to say the vendors isn't very clear. Sorry. What yeah. Carrie's yeah. saying is there was literally a spot where they brought in a lot of like companies that you could yes, actually go companies. talk to representatives from those oh, companies. Okay, okay, okay. See, Art was confused. Okay, go ahead, Carrie. Now it was go, good. Go it was honestly it. good for both people who wanted to just like learn more about the companies and also influencers like ourselves. Influencers. Influencers who <laughs> want to see if there's some money available uh, to support our debauchery. And apparently, there is a very small amount available. So, so you talked to Mr. eBay. Yeah, I talked the to the actual uh, guy. Yeah, John Quincy eBay the third. And, <laughs> and what do you uh, say? Like people like super picky though, wouldn't they be? Who eBay? Well, Carrie like, was no, telling I'm like, me our. I'm like, I'm saying like had... super big companies. Like they got. I feel like they're like super picky, and like if they find like one thing wrong with somebody, they like throw them in the trash. And here's the thing. A lot of you know them know, know that I am the number one picker on Pinterest right now. I'm almost at a thousand followers. That's such bullcrap. I am posting so much stuff on there, and no one is watching it, and no yeah, one is following me. It's ridiculous. After months of people not watching you, somehow those people will lose interest as well. That's that's what I have to tell you about interest. I'm, I, I'm believing in in the process and getting two or three followers, maybe a week. So it's pretty. Let's exciting. go down the list of vendors, okay? You told me that whatnot was there. eBay yeah. was there. Who else was there? List perfectly. Okay, list perfectly Bubble Boy. Uh, no, the Joel didn't show up. Okay, what well, Slacker Joel, um, come on. Um, he showed up to the trash there. to cash though. I love Hall you, Joel. Was there? They had a Worth Point. Um, okay. which I don't even know how to cancel Ooh, my no, subscription Worth to WorthPoint, just to be honest. I've never so, used WorthPoint in my life. Dude, yeah, I'm not so I'm, expensive. I'm, I'm, if I, I haven't, haven't used WorthPoint it, now, I'm never going to use no it. No offense. It might be great. I just haven't figured it out. That's probably the it's fair way It's total to crap. Hey, make sure you click my affiliate link down below, and I'll get like 25 it's bucks cr- if you sign yeah. up. <laughs> <laughs> no, okay, so Carrie was telling me, and this won't surprise you, Art, that like... 
when you looked at the eBay table and the whatnot table, it was like a, a crazy contrast. Yeah. Like, you know, 80 year old in a suat, <laughs> you know, businessman at the eBay table. And then the, uh, the whatnot that. people were like 17 and, yeah, you know, wearing skater were, shorts. Yeah, they the had like. People were like just doing TikToks and you had to interrupt mid TikTok to actually get something <laughs> yeah. done. They like were totally disinterested. They're just sitting on their phones like, what's up? <laughs> we're whatnot. And then the eBay guys are like, let me go to my PowerPoint and uh, we'll thing. look at yeah, your account. Mm, looks like your people. analytics. All right, so what's next up with that? They were middle aged. They were just normal people and they were about mm. teaching you about stuff. Whereas Whatnot right. also was about teaching you stuff, but they were just younger. Okay, okay so. And better looking. When was the last time you guys did Whatnot? Uh, 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 last week. Uh, last week. Uh, last week. Uh, last week. Uh, uh, I, I might like okay. three weeks. I think three I'm weeks doing ago, one four. tomorrow. I actually think I'm doing one tomorrow. Which and what do you guys think yesterday. is the next? What is the next platform to take um, creators for sponsorships? Is it I mean? wholesale? wholesale? They want no, to. Not necessarily the, no, I'm not saying like wholesale, but I'm saying like, what's another company out there that's going to be sponsoring creators? You know? No, I'm telling you, not- wholesale. I'm answering your wholesale. question. H a u l s a l e. Were they there, Carrie? Yeah, they were. Of they course. Were. Have I you heard of? Have that. you even heard of them yet? Well, hey, no, listen. I, if they want to pay us some money, we'll tell you guys about them next <laughs> we'll week. We'll let you know more in the future. <laughs> no, I'm being you know, Google I, it yourself. Like, <laughs> you know, for us being in Vegas, Carrie, I feel like we could like reach out to like restaurants. Yeah. Yeah. I know, and I know yeah. it sounds funny, but like you know, like take like take advantage of your local area, wherever you're at, even like you in yeah, Florida. Seriously. If Caparotti's you know, would sponsor me, there's one on every corner oh here. Oh my Vegas. God! I just yeah. ate Are that. you serious? Yeah, I want okay, so to sponsor me. I don't know what Caparati's is, guys. Don't inside Vegas talk, you know? You wouldn't understand. <laughs> you wouldn't you get, get it. Subway, a fancy Subway for you. How about that? It's uh, like okay, Subway okay. With, with soup. Oh, I like soup. I like soup way. That sounds amazing. Okay, so I will tell you what wholesale is. That's not cool to not tell the people <laughs> what's happening in this world of reselling. There's a new website. They uh, basically let you sell your haul on them. And it's like for someone who has too much death pile. And so I don't support this. The death pile yeah, support piggies against it. Um, but if you wanted to, for some reason, get rid of your basic like investments, you know, your death pile, your 401k, as well, it were, then you can sell it on haul sale. It's not right, even, well, it's not not even just that. that. It's not even just that. Like you can make, you know, just like whatnot, you can make like an auction based around a certain theme. You can make you know, lots based on like, we're probably going to do some plush lots on wholesale because I'm going to be using it and uh, do some affiliate stuff with them, I imagine, here shortly. Oh, sellout. <clears throat> I mean, hey, what? man. Hey, man. I'm just, hey, man. They hey, asked man. me and I said, you know, listen, I don't hey, think man. my viewers would like it, so I ain't going to be promoting it. But yeah, hey, make man, sure you I click my like, affiliate link down below. I got like 40, 40 <laughs> followers on Snapchat right now. I'm going to have to cash in. No, but okay. So what wholesale could be cool for is sourcing. Yes. Like you could buy someone else's haul. If you wanted to, Art, you know, if you wanted to build up I that. Just the, of... the name wholesale seems a little weird. It's Hall, H A U L, sale. Hall, it is a weird yeah. name. It's not a great name. Uh, I'm going to text them right now. My, also, them. guys, my reseller Genie was there. Guys, we all oh, dude, I've got a link for that. Genie. Don't click Kevin's link. Click my link. I have a that. link too. I have to actually finish setting it up. But when that is available, wait, just wait for a second and then use mine. Are you one of those resellers who actually plans on paying your taxes? Check out the My Reseller Genie link below. <laughs> Are you at 599 and you're thinking about getting it 601 on eBay and getting that 1099? Carrie, we're safe, dude. You have to have 600 in profit to actually pay oh, taxes. Oh, yeah. So, I mean, Ari, do you make a profit reselling or? Um, yeah, hell yeah, I do. What are you talking about? Okay, so what's your, like, uh, what's your favorite thing to resell? Um... It's not necessarily like one thing, you know what I mean? Like it's whatever. Okay, so I at, want a like specific me, like, thing, a specific item. It has to be one. It has one to be only one, one as well. So, some for, so so for some reason, people always think that I'm into like sports and like jerseys and stuff like that, which yeah. is for me, it's like something I grew up with and something this was I was like supposed thinking. to be like a short answer. But go ahead. Yeah, it was supposed to be one word, but I guess you can do okay, a whole toys. story. Toys. <laughs> toys. <laughs> no, we want toys. Toys. We're just Shoes. teasing you, man. Shoot. No, tell us your whole story about. I, I want to actually know now how the sports thing led up to the toys. Now I'm missing well, a part of the well, story. Okay, maybe I had. Well, I had uh, some videos like do really well on YouTube about sports jerseys. So I have people send me jerseys all the time now. 
people always send me pictures like, hey, man, is this a good jersey? Is this a good hat? Is Dude, good? and you just throw them away because you don't like yeah. sports. You're you like, you sports, and you just throw them in yeah. the trash? No, 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 no. Like, I, I love jerseys. Like, even today, I like, the past few days, I had, like, two great jerseys sell for, like, 75 bucks a piece. You know what I mean? Wow. Which is really good. And did you pay like, less than that or the – Oh, yeah. More? Like, 150 like, a piece. No, um, no. No, like, uh, <laughs> no, like, what, what, what comes to memory is like, I had a video where I bought maybe like, I want to say like 15, 20 jerseys for like 300 bucks, and I've already like tripled my triple. Dang, uh, my dang. Money, dude, you know, art, so. have you ever looked into like jarring farts and selling them? Because that's yeah. a thing um, you yeah, can do. I have, like, I've looked into OnlyFans, okay. I've looked into stuff like that. So oh, yeah. okay. I've sold, I've yeah. sold my soul three times on eBay. <laughs> Two of them are going to be very disappointed. Yeah, yeah. Well, because you already sold it, you can only sell it once, and exactly. yeah, you that's never what I'm had saying. one in the first place. So really, no, they should yeah, all be exactly three people are going to be upset. But here's the thing: how could they prove it? How could they prove mm. I never? I gave them a fake one. And then, well, when you're dead, they're going to know. Hmm? I want to say there was a movie like that. Was there a cartoon where somebody like wrote my soul? Oh no, The Simpsons. Remember when Bart wrote down my soul? Somehow? Yeah. Somehow. Sure. Yeah. That, Never heard Simpsons. Of what is, is The that Simpsons? A, is that in a, what, what is that a cartoon? No. You, okay. Yeah. <laughs> Are you serious? No, no. I have to mess with you. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about? Bart wrote down his soul yes, on his paper. Remember. Yes, I do right? remember that. Yeah, vividly. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh huh. Hey, Terry, we're getting like dangerously close to Jelly Hands V2. <laughs> Oh, yeah. I mean, I'm pretty excited. So I, I want some clarity. You said that someone paid you 100 bucks to do molasses. I have to do molasses. Did you already do molasses, or it's for no, the next event? It's for the next one. It's just going to be molasses. So I got, we got here, look at this. We got the 35 bones already, bro. Yeah, yeah. But I got a little, I got a little sugar on top. A hundo, as the kids call it. You I got, got a, a hundo. tip. I got a little tip to use molasses. Now, I don't know why molasses is so important. I'm going to find out. I might have to get rid of my beard after. I don't know. <laughs> it, like, it never did. comes out. <laughs> it's, like, permanent. <laughs> I, feel, I feel like Art, we were just teasing you, buddy. We're, we're, we like to go hard. Carrie thinks he offended you, Art. Yeah, I and always, here's I, the I thing. always feel I go too hard. Carrie, I like to tease the big you. key is to Are just not care about Art's feelings, and then the show <laughs> will go much smoother. Thank you. I would appreciate that. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, appreciate it. oh, dude, I got a video that's got almost 2 million views on TikTok. Holy oh, cow. It. Yeah, I posted it TikTok.com? Yeah, TikTok.com. <laughs> Wait, did you yeah, say you yeah, uploaded yeah. it yesterday? Yesterday, and it's all, Holy already cow. today. Got 2 million views, yeah. How that's many how followers do you have on there? Uh, because of that, I have, I think, 17,000 now. Dang, dude. dude. That's how it. it does it, man. That's how TikTok does it. It's just like the algorithm gets you, and it sends you to the moon, man. So is it like Spongebob? Money. It's got Spongebob in it. I'm yeah, looking yeah, at it luck. now. Good luck yeah. going to the mall. If you go to the mall right now, you're going to get mobbed. I, I can't even go to the mall. I can't even go to a Sabaro's Pizza. I can't get an Orange Julius anymore. What no, about a Cinnabon? A Cinnabon, yeah. I can kind of blend okay. in there. But <laughs> Fan Express? The, Fan the Express? Two, okay? I can. Hot Topic. <laughs> I can't go in a Hot Topic and get a My Chem shirt anymore because I just have to order it. Yeah. Like no, congrats, Art. That's awesome. That's awesome, I mean, bro. Congrats. I feel like I haven't had a hit on tiktok in like eight months dude it's like okay let me let me ask you this well i want to ask you guys this because i'm sure a lot of people watch you guys and think that you guys are like amazing creators and you guys are all you guys do great jobs you guys do a great job honestly okay you guys say no but you guys do really great (laughs) thank you but so many people look up to you guys i'm being honest so many people look up to you guys and they want to hear please continue (laughs) go on they want to hear your ideas and point of views of uh, Mm. tiktok what is a good performing tiktok for you guys for me, I'm happy if I get 25k views at least. 100k, 100k you need is gonna be one that that, well, that it, I think well, is good. because yeah. of where you guys are at in follower count. You guys look at it like at that. To me, no, it just goes by like what I'm used to versus what is reg. You know what I mean? Like regularly, I'll post a TikTok, it'll get like 10k views. So if it gets 25, it means it performed well in my brain. And then generally, once it gets to 25, I know it's on the road to 100. Uh, so yeah. I think it's it's more like that. Like if it hit twenty five, I'm like, yeah, that'll be at a hundred. So like in three months, you know, and then it'll be at two hundred. So I know it's gonna perform. But yeah, if it's Tick- like, you know, if it's TikTok. like two days after I post it and it's at four thousand views, I'm like, yeah, that was a flop. The TikTok. So I, I've had, yeah, sorry. I'm sorry. What were we saying? No, no, no. No, the key, no, no I mean, me. really, the key to TikTok is learning how to entertain people while they're pooping. Because ninety nine percent. This is a study that I just made up. Ninety nine percent of people on TikTok are on the in the bathroom at the time they're watching it. That's true. Um, it's true. There's a lot. So you just have to keep people from. Well, no. You know, what you really got to do, Carrie, is once they're done in the bathroom, be so engaging that they 
they like wipe while they're holding their phone and they, yeah, they just don't. wash the one hand they're, and they never put their phone down. Yeah, exactly. They're like, yeah. you're, you're a thief. How dare yeah. you? You know, yeah. you get the guillotine. Resellers get the guillotine. But why they're yeah. 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 Okay. Well, I feel like there's people out there that, that could like really, uh, what's the word I'm trying to look for? Um, so I've had my TikTok for over a year and I would say probably like the last two and a half months I've taken it more serious. So two and a half months, I have maybe like 200 followers and now I'm at 17 right wow and it's yeah, awesome nice. it's cool and but i feel like you kind of like you you i feel like for the people listening i'm saying that like this i feel like that people that want to do tiktoks or like youtube videos like i feel like you got to watch others because like yeah. i would see you kevin and I, I would see you guys <laughs> i would i would see you guys and try to like not implement and copy you guys but trying to think of a way that would be more you know your myself do you get not not just myself yeah. but like somebody be themselves you know what i mean Cause, well, because well there's a like, certain formatting to tiktok that you have to do across the board you have to be engaging in a certain time period so it's good to to see how other people structure it and then you can put your own personality within that like you're doing the pop-ups and everything you got spongebob and every i mean like you got you're doing it in a way that's uniquely you but at the same time it's the same basic formula that everybody uses you know my big it problem made, was that like i don't know probably Four months ago, I just quit caring about TikTok, to be quite honest with you. Like, mm-hmm. that that's just straight up. Like, you know, I did it. I i accomplished it, right? Like, I got 170K, 176K now. But I also, like, there was never really a reward for TikTok for me. That's there so was true. never money. So there there's was no never. Benefit. No, yeah, I understand that. There's I, a benefit. I mean, there might be a benefit. I just haven't found it really yet. I mean, Carrie can probably Carrie's yeah, seen a, more of a benefit than I have because, because I already had established. On I was like else. the first like, one who got. Well, I mean, a lot yeah. of people are near me now, but like I was one of the first ones to blow up on TikTok, so I got a lot of benefit, like getting to know you guys. You guys probably wouldn't have even contacted me um, yeah. based on my YouTube following at the time. So yeah. um, it's helped. Right. It's helped me a little bit. So, uh, so what, what you just said right now, Dave, I totally, I totally get what you're saying. How you don't see like a benefit of it. So like last night when I saw my video hit a million views in one day, it kind of like triggered in my head. Like, what if I just start responding? I know it sounds bad to respond to people, but like a lot of people like, hey, where do you sell this at? How do you find your art sales? Uh, Where can I buy this? Yeah. Uh, How do you find the price of that? You know what I mean? So I would respond. I took like an hour, like maybe like an hour and a half, like literally replying to people on TikTok. Like, look, you know, this is my YouTube channel. This is where I do it. This is how I go on eBay to find the pros. And I think... I think just in yesterday, I probably got like over 60 subs on YouTube because of that. Wow. That there you go. I, well, I, I think, think so. You know I mean? So I That's think, probably the I think, okay, let me, let me put it differently. I think there is a way to have value on TikTok. And this is a reselling podcast. We're going to get back to reselling in a minute. But no, I think possible, there you know? is plenty of people making money with affiliate marketing on TikTok. Like yeah. that's the biggest generator that and maybe some sponsored posts. Yeah. But I really think the vast majority of the people making money off of TikTok are doing affiliate links. Like here's the top 10 things on Amazon for, yeah, okay. you know, shaving your testicles, whatever it is. So I mean, and that's they're all razors. Clicks it. <laughs> they're literally all razors. But, but here's, uh, <laughs> here's what you guys are missing. I just want to mention this real quick. TikTok itself is kind of as far as like making money off of it outside of ads or impossible. It, it's not it's not a lot of money. But here's the thing is not to focus on TikTok so much. It's to focus on creating good short form videos because good short form videos go everywhere right now. You put them yeah. on TikTok, YouTube, Instagram, Facebook, and I do Pinterest and Snapchat. That's six spots. Facebook pays really well right now. Instagram's better than than TikTok. Um, yeah. And then TikTok does pay a little bit. But yeah, just make good short form video and put it everywhere people are consuming it. Because it's so, going to be a big part of the future. It's just not. Going what to be what I think is what I think of TikTok is it's like the it's our new modern day newspaper TikTok. You know, I mean, people wake up and they're grabbing their phones right away. Like I'm sure you guys yeah. do that. As soon as I wake up, I'm looking at my phone. I check my messages to see if I got any calls, and then I check my feeds, my socials. You know yeah, what I mean? I'm gonna start now, calling you at 2 a.m., bro. You know, so now, now, I want to be I'm there pilot. every morning. No, I want my name there, Art. I'm gonna start there. calling that's you. The, that's the thing. You are there. <laughs> so I wake up in the morning. If I open my TikTok. I'm seeing that you're buying at a yard sale already at uh, eight in yeah. the morning. Yeah. You know, two p.m. I see you again because you're flipping. How many TikToks uh, every day now? Like four. A four. Yeah. Three or four. four. We're doing one a week. Well, you know okay. I mean? So, so here's here's the thing. I am doing like right now. I'm paying someone and trying that to make my TikToks. They're not very good. 
but I also it, have yeah, no time. Emphasis you like on them? not very good. Wait, no, I like them. No, no, no. Look, Carrie, let me. Okay, I'm I'm wrong, Carrie. You're the pro at this, but my, from my experience, from from me being on the sideline, me being on the bench watching you guys, just seeing you, Dave. You know, even if it, even if you don't think they're great, or even if you don't like them, or you this might cringe you or whatever. Yeah. I I enjoy it because like, I see your face again, 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 and they're like, oh shit, yeah. now I gotta go watch this guy's video. You it's, know what I mean? It's haunting. Yeah. It's haunt, not, not haunt, but not in a negative way. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, oh, this guy's a negative, again, honestly, again. Yeah. I, I don't think so. You know what I mean? I, I'm <laughs> just, just saying it from, I, I'm, from my point of view. No, I'm, I'm saying it from my point of view. Me being on the sideline, if I see Dave's video at 8 in the morning, at noon, at 4 p.m., when I go to bed, I'm like, fuck, man, Dave is outworking me. That's how I feel about you guys. You know what I mean? When I see yeah. Kevin posting, when I see you, Kerry, post, I'm like, damn, I got to catch up to you guys. If I feel like that, imagine how people here in the podcast feels. Yeah, no, that's true. Yeah. Hey, dude, we have a special guest that's about to enter. He's very old. He's been oh, napping. He's finished welcome. his little poopy. Kevin, welcome. the Commonwealth Picker. Ooh, he's here. <laughs> Kevin, how did your little poopies go? <laughs> <laughs> My wife's been talking. <laughs> she has been there talking go, trash. Right. Uh, we right, know you weren't really pooping at that gas gas station. You were flipping. You were reselling at it. Yep, you were. Yep, you were finding all the fidget spinners. Let me tell in you. Town. <laughs> My wife is a less credible source than you guys. That's really? The truth. Wow. Yes. She's, yeah, because we all we're talking about like you probably don't even poop. Like it's no, I don't, yeah, I honestly, you. I don't think it's a thing that happens with you. But here's the thing: it's 2022. We don't need credible sources. We're just going to go with it and report it as news. Kevin, we didn't have you, so we invited this other guy. Yeah, I mean, this it's is awkward awesome. that you're here now. Well, I'm so because I'm so Art tall is a perfect in this group. replacement for me. He will work. Awesome. Thank you, Art, for taking over. I'm going to go head over <laughs> to the Did you just do the Bill podcast. Clinton thing? Is that the Bill <laughs> the little Bill Clinton thing? thumbs up. Hey, guys, them. hey. Hey. I always get people tell me, like, just, you got too many Donald Trump stuff going on and doing what I'm like, we like talking mannerisms? about. <laughs> Your mannerisms are trump Well, I'm saying And Clinton-ian. Like, signals and <laughs> stuff. Good. I'm it's like, dude. Good. Ch- oh, yeah. <laughs> hey, there it is. Good. It's very good. It's very See, good. Art doesn't mean just take I got a Trump Uncle so much more talented. Look, Trump funk about? He's got a good yeah, mic, yeah. Dave. You don't. He need does me. have a good mic. You could buy. Yeah. Where are you, Kevin? Like, are you at your your it's bunker? Undisclosed location. <laughs> you're at <laughs> Fort <laughs> David. Is that where you're is at? It a, um, a murder <laughs> Airbnb. Yeah. <laughs> well, Carrie, oh, what is hey, that d- thing in the background? Oh, I just want to fit in with the lighting in the background. <laughs> <laughs> I just, I don't know. I just, I just I did that last it. second. It's, it's a dumb decision, and I regret it. Can we get Kevin on the TikTok? conversation real quick yeah yes, okay yes. so we're talking about um how art had a two million view tiktok last night that he posted and it literally is just a picture of you yeah okay kevin yeah, yeah with a down, loaf yeah. of bread in your ear oh he's gone yeah and w- in a diaper <laughs> ah, ah, ah. <laughs> kevin in a diaper with a loaf of bread in his ear <laughs> but art just posted can you hear us kevy Kev, you gotta, you know, turn on your sound he's he's struggling again he's so cute when he has trouble with technology exactly. Oh, Sur- he's gone. <laughs> Suri, turn on the phonograph. Make the phone work, Suri. <laughs> All right, what do you think about Kevin's really old age? Man, for being that old, he's in great shape. That's true. He, that is true. He's he can, he can he's walk he's he's actually really about good 300 yards. That dude's ripped. Well, I'm glad he came. I mean, that was all he was coming for. That's nice. But yeah. <laughs> pretty good. <laughs> okay, anyways, I mean, with the TikTok thing... There's a way, and you could use it to resell. I think you're right. I mean, you touched on it, but you didn't really dive into it. I mean, yes, it might get, might have gotten you 60 YouTube followers. I don't think that's the real value. I think the value would be you could potentially sell that inventory, that find, that score to those TikTok viewers, right? right. Like you're um, marketing yeah. your inventory in a sense. Yeah. Um. I well, see, like me, me personally, I I've never been to like you know, let me buy something to flip it, you know. For somebody to get to buy it. I've never been like that. No, yeah, you don't want to flip to, to sell. I don't know how you yeah. guys figured out. <laughs> I've know. been doing that for 11 years, and I'm no, still no. kind of no. able to survive. So what I'm trying to say was, like, you know, I don't... Like, me, when I go to yard sales now, I try to I try to make content now. Oh, than, really? Does, that make, does oh. that make sense to you guys? You sound like a, a bona fide froggy flips. All right, sounds like you're oh, a YouTuber who now. resells. Well, Anthony seems cool. Anthony seems cool. Anthony oh, is cool. Doesn't mean I, that's you, you have what, to be cool for me to make fun of you. Do you get what I'm saying, though, right? You get what I'm saying? Yes, yes. 
I'll be honest. I, I am less I am less enthusiastic about going to garage sales than I was two or three years ago because I feel like I'm more into YouTube than I am at times into reselling. To be honest. Wow, dude, is this even a reselling podcast, Kevin? We need different people on here. They're all Seriously, talking about content. You're less enthusiastic yeah, about going uh -huh. to garage. Is it yeah. your content about going to garage? No, sales? I'm say I'm being on. Thank you. Look, yeah, guys, thank you. All right, so let's listen, ask Kevin. This, this is Kevin. called radical honesty. I'm just trying to tell you <laughs> that I I like going to garage sales, but I have honestly noticed that a lot more of my focus is now on the content aspect of it. Yeah. Wow. So what's your 90 day total? Huh? Huh? What's so my huh? 90 day total on huh? eBay? Uh, <laughs> no, on content creation. It's oh, it's four right. digits. Or right, what are them. you gonna what are you gonna ask me? You're gonna ask me a question for oh. these guys interrupted. Do they treat you all right, by the way, while I No, was we treat him horribly. Carrie's yeah, Carrie's already worried that he offended him. He's like texting yeah. apologies while we're doing the Did they show. mention American oh, Bubble Boy? We did actually. Did, actually. Art did. I did. Oh, I did. There you I go. Did. See? Art and me, we're gonna find somebody. Dante, you wanna do a podcast? <laughs> Please don't hit me up. Yeah. No, 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 no. no, I was gonna so I was asking the guys, what what is your benefit of TikTok? My benefit of TikTok, it's just yeah. sheer, it's it's to give Dave and Carrie something that they're better than me at. That's why yeah. I do it, so they <laughs> <Yeah>. feel better. <laughs> I don't know, that's are, a great, we I'm are a lot better. I, look, I'll be honest with you, I talked to Carrie about this long time ago, first time I talked to him actually, and it's just playing the long game. Um, uh -huh. You know, whether yeah. it's reselling or any business, in, in my, you know, my business is reselling. I love garage sales, I don't like Carrie, so stop watching his shows. He doesn't really like what he's doing. Um, you know, it's, it's getting more eyeballs on what you do, no matter what you do is, mm -hmm. oh, well, not no matter what you do is almost always a good thing. Some things you don't want any eyeballs on you, but that's it, man. Just growing an audience and there's a totally different audience. You know, Carrie's audience, he's pretty modest art, but he's mm -hmm. probably the second biggest person in all of reselling. And right. I got to be honest, you know, most of the people who watch Carrie, they'll live in their parents' basement. So it's, you know, it's, mm -hmm. you know. Okay. I also have so, to say I have a – I'm probably one of the first resellers to really be killing it with reselling content on Be Real. Because I am <laughs> – How are you even pulling it off, bro? How are you I even just, doing it? I'm just waiting to do a late Be Real and then make well, it about reselling. So I forgot what, to care about Be Real I, after I the first four like, days. <laughs> I stopped looking weeks ago. Yeah. There you go. So Art, why are you doing TikTok then? Okay, yeah, what's so your why? what I was and, telling the guys right now with the, my experience of last night – so the video that I posted yesterday got a billion views in one in one day. By, yeah. by, by I time saw I it. Bed, it was the one I, I told you about, right? We were talking. Yes, about. yes, 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 yes. So when that, as soon as I hit a million, it kind of clicked in my head. Like, hey, let me respond to these people because these people would ask me, hey, how do you find yard sales? How do you mm -hmm. how do you sell? Where do you sell? How do you yeah. find the price of things? Oh. Uh, you know, and then I would tell, I would reply to people, not every comment, yeah. you know. So, I would reply so to you're ruining people. it for the rest of us by telling them, just FYI. Yeah, I am. I'm telling everybody yeah. my secret because nobody's going to go. That's the thing. <laughs> <laughs> Some people I go. Would people, Some people go. No, hell no. You know, I would tell 100 people, 99 won't go. You know what I mean? <laughs> Okay, but that's that really, still one. If you hit a million people, that's still a lot of people trying to get my garage sale stuff. Wow, Kevin, you're so defensive. I know. Man. I gotta look. I had wow. to compete with Dave for a, you mm. know a weekend. That was tough enough. He's stealing all the dancing snowmen. I can't even Dude, get my hand. How up. much did your viewers hate me? I didn't look at the comments. Probably, probably pretty a lot. Um, <laughs> for which one? The video today. You finally put a video up with me in it. The one where I'm like I, looking in my shirt and taking my pants off and. Two, yeah. Oh, do you haven't seen today's video? I haven't seen today's no. Dude, you're all over that one. Yeah. Am I still? Are you still oh, ten yeah, out of ten? Art watched it. Are no, you still 10 out of 10? No, I'm an 8 out of 10. Me too. I'm so excited. But that's only because I'm like, I've got the other dead videos to stand upon. <laughs> so you don't know, I, I issued a new Patreon level in the Commonwealth Picker video today for Carrie. Okay. This woman at the at the garage sale had the biggest bra I've ever seen. Did you see it, Dave? You were right there. With yeah, me. I was right there. That thing was like just the size massive. of my head. And she was like right there. And Kevin's yeah. like laughing about it. And I'm just like, this is really uncomfortable. Yeah. <laughs> and Kevin's like, and the lady's like, that's actually my daughter's. And I'm like, oh, this, I'm leaving. <laughs> I just like ran away. <laughs> she said her daughter was blessed. I think. She, she said her daughter was blessed. blessed. Right. That's yeah, so what's your Patreon? Send us your right blessing. on the video. You were running away. You were ashamed of me, I guess. Okay. I said. I was a little nervous. Embarrassed. I said new Patreon level, Patreon level of fifty bucks, and Ooh. Carrie will put this bra on on the show. Oh, I mean, I'll be honest. I I, did you buy it? <laughs> no. <laughs> I'd pay you. I'd pay you fifty dollars, and I'd do it. Honestly, I'm going to be completely <laughs> honest with you all. 
Yeah. <laughs> you because yeah, I mean that's fine. Yeah, okay, so Carrie's not a real reseller. Art yeah, is a content I am, creator. I, am, I just got <laughs> yeah. paid for a Luka Doncic card. Three dollars. <laughs> Three dollars. How many things me. have you sold today, Dave? How many things? Are you me? Like, we're the real resellers here? Oh gosh, oh gosh. I am I the real reseller? This is horrible news. Yes, I'm sad. gonna win all up, you guys. I, I shipped out twenty two things today. Is that pretty Dang, good? Dang. I yeah, shipped out eighteen. Absolutely. I shipped out eighteen. Uh, but that I was tell like you, three days I had a rough it. week, y'all. Yeah. I was trying to make enough videos for two weeks, and I did. But I, I shut the store down, and I got down here today. Have twenty five sales already. Twenty five oh, wow. sales. It's wow. going nuts right now. What is now. selling? Everything, crazy stuff, stupid stuff, like stuff I had listed. Two yeah, years give us a bolo, I... Kevin. It's a reselling <laughs> yeah. podcast. No, this is not well, a bolo. It's hot on Bonanza I sold right two now. Two Lularoe items. Oh, for goodness sake. <laughs> why did you buy them? Remember. Oh, this yeah, was like, I'm telling you, they're like three years old. That's Bro, what are you doing? Like, we have like the same exact title today. Oh, yeah? <laughs> yeah. How much for I all of it? Whole table. I bought everything. That's like John's Those big one. Those are both one. No, froggies, too. Froggies. Yeah, every, every really time, froggies, yeah. 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 Actually, I came over with this, and I'm like, this sounds an awful lot like a froggy flips video. And I looked it up. It's almost word for word. It's like John's <laughs> biggest video, too. It's like, I want to. I bought everything on the table, was John's that, like biggest video. Let's be fair. Guys, there's the YouTube hack. Title your video, I bought everything on the table. And then you're, the, you know, the voila. Truth is you just. Work. Doesn't Take everybody hard. else's title. That's how you get good at YouTube. Let's yeah. be honest. Am I losing you all again? Uh oh. Kevin's losing us. I mean, Kevin, <sighs> at your age, it's fine. Yeah, it's okay, man. You can Let's watch it. him disappear. Look, he's frozen watch. now. Look how sad he is. Look at, <laughs> look at that face he's making <laughs> art. You see look at it? That. Oh, I think he's like mid toot. Dude, he might be pooping right now. Oh, he's oh, gone. He quit. I his, quit. <laughs> you know, his name is now I quit on there. <laughs> there he is. There he is. We see him. I have, by the way, let the record show, I have 11 sales just today. So you guys can bite me, as Kevin would say. You can bite me. Grand total, what's a grand total like money? Don't in worry that about that sale. kind of detail. That detail over, doesn't matter. Over or under $11. You're worried about details that are not important, my friend. <laughs> so You're under. worried about how much, <laughs> how much is going out the door. I'll check. I'll check. Give me a moment. Okay. And Art, you said you had what, 25 today or 22? 22. What was your biggest money sale today that you shipped out? Because um, mine was uh, not a one dollar card, whereas Carrie's was a one. dollar A pair of card. shoes, some Under Armour shoes that I got for six bucks. They sold okay. for one hundred twenty-five. Dang, dude, he killed me, Carrie. One twenty-five. What was your biggest one, Carrie? Oh, he's looking it up. He's got him and Kevin are actually on the I'm same at level. Nine, with the ninety-five dollars. Ninety-five dollars. My biggest sale was thirty bucks. Ninety-five. Oh, your biggest sale was ninety-five. No, I got a thirty dollars sale on a card I got at the card show for a buck last week. So. Oh, so eleven items. Your sales was ninety five dollars. So what's your ASP there? Yeah, that's about spot on for me, like seven, eight, nine dollars because I do a lot of cards. Yeah, yeah. There was probably about five dollars. Seven dollars. You're quick with the cards. math. I had to Google it. I'm not. I'm not a math magician like Carrie. Here's the thing. I was really good at math until they started bringing in letters, which is really confusing. What's the purpose of those? Yeah, uh, cubed. What's a cubed? Yeah, exactly. Trigonom trigonometry. Trigonometry. Trigonometry was. That's right. Kevin, Kevin if you guys are audio. Kevin tried to come back on. He looked sad and he left again. Poor little guy. He gets so so frustrated. He gets so frustrated with that sort of stuff, sort of things. Okay, so I'm trying to see my biggest sale. Oh, here we go. NHL 2K10, $5. That's oh your God. biggest on the one PS2. <laughs> no. That's no, that's not. My my worst one is Heart on cassette for $3. Okay. That's pretty good. And then, oh, no, this is too long of a period. You know, my wife was trying to list for me, and she accidentally bought an item on eBay. <laughs> 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 like, She's like trying to list a four dollar record, and she like accidentally bought it, and I'm like, oh, now sweet. you have more inventory. Sweet. Now you got another record, <laughs> and she overpaid for it. I'll be honest, she overpaid for it. So I guess that's mine now. Uh, but no, my best sale. I'm I'm still trying to find it. It's like a cable, I think, for a boat GPS. You know, like the fish finders. Yeah. That you get. It's like a, a Furuno cable, just a random cable. Sold it for fifty bucks. Yeah, that's something. Why don't you brag about it? Oh, Carrie, but you were... Oh, you weren't with me. Kevin was with me. So Kevin was talking about the Dancing Snowman. I bought this haul of Dancing Snowman art where it was like the Hallmark ones that you press the button mm -hmm. and they do this like little dance and the jiggle and all that. And I got, you know, I think five Dancing Snowmen. I got a Twerking Santa. Twerking I got Santa. a What Does the Fox Say Fox Plush from Jemmy. Also and I, strangely twerked. I paid 20 bucks for, like, all of that, right? And uh, actually sold 
one of the Hallmark Snowmen for 23 and the Twerking Santa for 12 today. So I'm already wow. in the profit on that buy. Pretty excited. Congratulations, Dave. Congrats. You're an A-plus yeah. number one reseller. Yeah. Trash to cash. I think the oh, rest guys... of it's worth like another 200 or 150 something like that. Dave, do you, do you get a lot of uh... – when you would tell people about reselling, do a lot of people look at you crazy still or no? I don't really tell anyone about it anymore. Like, everyone knows at this point. Like, who would I tell, I guess, would be my question. Well, like, when they ask you, like, because, like, like, okay, for my See, I have a day job. I just tell them I have a day job. Well, I do, I tell too. Them, I, I, I talk I, about I, that. I still work as well. I don't tell them I mean? I'm a reseller. That's my dirty well, secret. Well, I, so I, so I, my part-time job is like super easy i do valet right yeah so most of my 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 uh, downtime you know i'm working on something and so all my co-workers know what i'm doing or like close friends that i meet ask me not close friends but people that i meet always ask me what i'm doing and i tell them about reselling but i always get the uh, the stigma of like it's taboo to resell do you ever get yeah. that vibe Oh, all the time. Every time oh, I talk like, to anyone. Oh, but that's why I stopped talking to them about it. Because, like, you know, they're not on my level is how I look yeah, at it. Like, I they don't understand. People... I mean, I feel like anyone who looks down on resellers just doesn't like making money. Here's the thing. <laughs> exactly. You your... so, what, what would be the percentage of maybe the U.S. of that don't resell or have no idea of reselling? What, what would it be? Kevin, uh, thoughts? Kevin, thoughts? Kevin's here, guys. Oh, he's he gone. quit again. Oh, um, he quit again. I think that know about reselling. I think uh, they don't. Maybe, they have zero idea. They say think reselling's like, a taboo. That's disgusting. That you're so they uh, have no idea. Person. Okay, I I don't that that think reselling's bad. I I think it's not a lot. I think it's a smaller segment of the population. Really? Yeah, okay. I think it's I, I think it's conditional. I think it's completely conditional. I think if they're trying to get the last thing a baby formula and it's all gone. And they see some lady walking out yeah, with that's 50 completely things taboo. of baby yeah. formula. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know, or, or even if it's like, you know, I was at the Walgreens and I was buying all the Squishmallows because there was no one there buying them. And I knew they were a dollar and no one else knew. And so I had a cart full of f Squishmallows and I had a lady freak out at me because my grandkid would have liked one of those. And I, she was ahead of me in line and everything like that. And like she could have bought it herself. But at that moment, she hated resellers. Because yeah, she felt like I took something from her. It doesn't mean she would always hate resellers. But I think, you know, there can be a situation where anyone can be frustrated at a reseller. I've been frustrated at a reseller. If yeah. I go to a yard yeah, sale yeah. with Kevin and he buys all the yeah. records and I can't yeah. get any of them. I'm like, dang it, freaking resellers <laughs> buying them all. Exactly. Hey, Kevin, welcome back. <laughs> welcome back. Hmm. I'm frustrated with resellers every single Sunday night. Why Sunday night? Oh, because right now. Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> I'm a little slow. A little we're, slow. In, we're here in Sunday night right now. It's now. I think a lot of people conflate like the buying the last baby formula with, you know, like you All said, resellers. Squishmallow. Yeah. yeah, like things that really aren't ne needs or necessities. Mm. But are they don't think Walmart is a reseller, which they which are. Which they are course. the world's biggest. or Actually, Amazon would be the world's <laughs> biggest. So, yeah. But I also struggle, right? Like there was, you know, two years ago, there was some stuff going down health wise and people were getting in trouble for buying up all the masks or hand sanitizer. Yep. I think someone got like banned on eBay for selling hand sanitizer. And I'm just sitting there like, dude, if I had been like heavy into reselling at that moment, I probably would have sold some hand sanitizer. Am yeah, I yeah, a monster? Yeah, yeah. Like <laughs> I, if I see I can make some money and I have a bunch of hand sanitizer, I would have been tempted to do it. So I can't even be mad at that person. Uh, because I'm, I don't think they were like out to hurt anyone. They just saw an opportunity to make some money. Right. Yeah. Economics, man. Free markets provide goods, but sometimes they can, uh, you know, make it a little bit more difficult. Yeah, yeah, I think you just said a bunch of words, but I didn't understand what any of that yeah. meant. Kevin, um, just like he came on, <laughs> <his bad internet. laughs> I understood every second that was. I, I, under, I understood it. <laughs> Kevin's gone again. I actually like this better. Anytime we can have Kevin like in and out, in and out, in and out, like he gets really angry. Yeah, and he, he just like look at his eyes. Like he gets to escalate. murder Kevin. Yeah, it's yeah. so good. I hope he keeps yeah. trying. He might just quit. He might just message me and Carrie and say I quit. But yeah, you know, that's he might. Coming here it's soon, coming yeah. soon. Probably one more flop. That no, I don't. There, even there, think it, there it is. There it is. There it is. Like. There it is. He just sent it. I'm out. Have a great time. Sorry. He's gone. <laughs> I knew it was that's coming. A bummer. I, that's yeah. a bummer. I wish he could be here. Well, what if we just get, you know, his wife in here? She probably yeah, can well, figure it out. She knows how to yeah, internet. Exactly. Just hook up the ethernet cable. There you go. Put up the enemy on there your you mic. Go. And then that's like having a Kevin. Just not really as clean. Because, you know, Art uses his for the... It's a lot more purpose. useful, though. This is a lot more useful than Kevin. 
Okay, so anyways, let's get back to reselling. That's me. We actually talked a little bit about reselling there. I'm pretty proud of us. It's kind of it's kind of weird me out. You know, so someone, no one is a better way to put this. No one messaged me on the reviews. Remember, we took reviews last week on the iTunes, and we yeah. picked two winners for Bubble Boy Rep. No one emailed me, or I didn't get the emails. Maybe it went to spam. Maybe try Instagram messaging me the two winners. Yes. Uh, but if we don't hear anything, we'll just have to give the Bubble Wrap to someone else. I don't know. Yeah. Maybe uh, one of the patrons or something will do something over there to give away some Bubble Wrap. So, do you buy your Bubble Wrap from American Bubble Boy Art? I actually do. Yeah. Shout out to Joel, one hundred percent. And so your first name is officially Art, right? What? Well, yes. And your okay. last name well, is like it's resell. Correct? Well, I know Harold it Tornado's is. name isn't really Harold, so you know, just yeah. checking to see if you're one of those. Guys. No, my first it's, name is Arturo. Arturo. Uh, it's right. Hebakaya. It's Arturo. 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 Okay. Arturo. Yeah. Nice. Do you, are, do you like? Um, never mind. That's. A, I'm sure you heard that. No, no, no. Say, 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 say. <laughs> I was going to ask you if you like to do art. <laughs> <laughs> One of my I biggest... decided it was an eighth grader joke. <laughs> I hate when people ask me to carry stuff. I get enraged. Oh, because your name is Carrie. Yeah, I hate it when people ask me to Dave things. I'm like, what does so that like, even mean? I don't no, even know I get what you're what, saying. I know completely when somebody says, you just Daved this up. I know what they mean. Dude, speaking of that, like, I'm a famous YouTube cooker now. Did you know that, yeah. Carrie? I don't know if you knew 6, that. 6,000 views on a chili recipe episode that was subpar at best. It was a horrible episode of my cooking channel art, and it just blew up this weekend. Blew okay, up! So I've been, I've been I'm, uh, what's, what's blow up? Tell me. Blow up is it went from, like, uh, 1,700 views to 11,000 over the weekend. Wow, yeah. On okay. YouTube. Only, like, on YouTube. only, like, 8,000 of those were bots that he paid for. Wow. Yeah. There's, like, an extra 500 real people. Yeah, I mean the most common location is India, but I don't. That's not related to what if I. If you guys spend. want to know are, where to buy crypto, what are cookie channels that you watch right now? Comments. What are what? What are cookie channels that you watch right now? Cooking channels that I like to watch. I like to watch yeah. Sam the Cooking Guy. Yeah, Paula yeah, the guy Dean. From Diego, right? Yep, yeah, yeah, Paula yeah. Dean. Uh -huh. I like to watch. They're more my style because they're just like chatting and cooking with you, like it's hang out and cook. Unlike Back, Babish, yeah. like I don't like <laughs> Babish because he's too like jump cut, like really professional. Yeah, yeah. I'm not into that kind of cooking. I want like the very like, oh, like this, yo, right? we're just chilling and cooking together. That's why I like Sam yeah. the Cooking Guy. He's probably yeah, my no, favorite. Yeah. Yeah. You know, I always Sam's liked, I liked, dope. I liked Guga for a long time and sous vide everything. Same guy. Back when he had like a thousand subs, I was watching Guga and he was Did much was more. No, he's like he's in Miami and he does like barbecue mostly. And now he's like super high production value, and I don't watch it anymore. How about Instagram? Uh, do you make any Instagram content or no? No, I dude, I just don't have time. Art, I really dude, don't have what? time. Well, well, look. So on Instagram, there's people I watch that just cook like mad barbecue. There's a guy yeah. uh, cooking with fire. Mm, oh. I've I've seen him. Yeah, he's good. Dude, but no, I, I mean. I sent him messages. I'm like, bro, I swear to God, you are the reason. I'm I like, yeah, I like no, the yeah. cooking. I like the cooking channels that that show like the volcano, like the onion volcano that lights on fire. I like those ones. Yeah, I should. I could do that. I could make that happen. I could probably light my whole kitchen on fire by accident in my videos. It's it's it wouldn't be unprecedented. But yeah, so I, that's where I get most of my my innovation, like my motivation for not innovation. My motivation from it is like. Just conversational cook with me, not like super yeah. pro cook, like Babish style or nerdy nummy style. It's like very like chill, hang out and cook. And I yeah, think yeah. those channels can be successful. It's now like it's my hobby, but I was really excited to get like a video blow up of just me cooking chili. And it's my worst one. Like, you know, my mic is like sitting right here. I was super nervous and it's just random. To be fair, out. dude, like if I were to have never known who you were and I'm walking down the street and I looked at you, we we had eye contact, right? And there's okay. that moment. I don't like where in this that is going. moment in that moment I would be that's a guy who cooks a mean chili. Oh. That would be my first thought. That's fair. That's fair. And I do, and that's not the recipe I would use. I have a much better recipe that I can send have you. Ever, you have you ever have you ever not just doing Google search like do your own thing? I when I'm cooking for myself, yes, I haven't on this channel yet, but I want to. I want to do like another playlist that's like my favorite recipes, right? Okay, you know, yeah, you got yeah. world's best recipes, I want to do my favorite. Like I want to take every recipe I've done cuz almost all of them I have my own recipe that I like better. Right. And just be like, yeah, this is the actual best chili. Because the chili I like to make, you take a uh -huh. chuck roast, right? Okay, and you smoke right. that sucker for like 16 hours with a bunch of like chipotle chili powder and stuff like that on it. Right. And then you put it into the chili and then you smoke that for like another three or four hours on top of that. And mm -hmm. 
no bean nonsense. The recipe I had I found for the YouTube was yeah, beans, yeah, yeah. and I don't like beans well, in my chili. Yeah, yeah, yeah I don't yeah. like beans You're in my chili. chili so Put sugar here. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. So you don't like chili, basically. What, what no, do you like? Dude, more? This, this like, is a. This is like, guys, comment down below. This is None controversial. Of this sounds like chili. This is controversial, Carrie. There is a lot of people who say beans do not belong in chili, and then there's Listen a lot of people here. who say they do. Listen here, <laughs> Bob. You say okay. that to my face. You say that to my you face. You can put beans in chili. You can put it, but and there's a lot of people like who say more? beans are wrong. What? What do you like doing more, the cooking or the reselling? I like reselling better, but cooking, it's okay. So as far He's as better like, at cooking and eating. Yeah. Well, no. Okay, as far as, as like what I would rather do, if I if I had to spend a day doing something, I would probably cook because cooking is just fun and reselling. Okay. Like no matter how fun it is, like the sourcing and the shipping. That's all work, right? The all whole right. cooking experience is fun because I enjoy the cooking and then I enjoy the eating. Reselling right. has some stuff I don't like in it, you like the listing okay. and the shipping. Say, say five years from now, if you had to pick one thing that you were still doing, what, what, what would it be? The cooking channel or the reselling channel? I don't know. That's I'm going to say. I, I'm I gonna, feel I'm like I'd get bored if I was just doing the cooking channel, so I'd, I don't think really? I'd ever yeah, want to okay. just... Yeah, because, like, you. the cooking channel doesn't take that long, right? Like, I can take a Sunday right. afternoon, I can record four videos, and that's a month of okay, content. Okay, I see that now. Okay. I have so much extra time, I'd still resell, because it's fun, right, right. you know? Like, yeah. the sourcing. Here's what I would do, though, Art. I would pay someone to list, and I would pay someone to ship. I would okay. just be sourcing. <laughs> let, let me ask you a question. Why didn't... Okay, it might be totally different, because, I yeah, okay, NC Picker, NC Flipper. Why didn't you put your cooking content on your Picker channel? My I know cooking it's totally content? Yeah, no, like you're cooking stuff on your picker channel. That's like, exactly how you destroy a YouTube channel. Why? Who says that? Cooking? Who says that? Who says that destroys a YouTube channel? Uh, ask uh, Walter Knobloch. <laughs> Go talk to Walter Knobloch. He was telling me all about how he went to like, what did he do? He did some like tire videos, buying tires on his reselling channel. He did some, all these random videos and his channel died. It just completely died because people were like, well, this isn't what I want. Here's here's what happens. Okay, so I'll, I have two channels, NC Flipper, NC Picker. Yeah, yeah. Even that is separating basically the same content, right? Which seems weird to a lot of people. The reason I do that, though, is because there's a different kind of person who wants to watch me pull orders than a person who wants to watch me source. My mom, my brother will watch me source, mm -hmm. but only my friend Brandon, who's a reseller, will watch me pull orders. Right? Like, if you want to watch someone pull orders, you're probably a hardcore reseller. If you what want to watch Froggy to Flips, you? the person that wants to see me? Yeah. That's like, what, that. like what, what, if, what if you are the brand? Not, it doesn't matter what I you're am. Doing. I am, I think, for my Flipper channel. I Do don't think I am for my Picker channel. There's a difference. Like, and this is why I think there's, this is like, this is not what this podcast is about, Art, but sorry, it's not sorry. a content podcast, but. Hey, I think I'm what sorry, you're bro. doing, what do you want me to I think, about? listen, I think what you're doing with the second camera pointed at you is brilliant because then you are just like Harold Tornado. A lot of times will have himself on the camera on my picker channel. I'm very infrequently in the shot, okay. right? It's a POV channel more than anything. And so uh, they're kind of, they're in my shoes. They're picking when they watch that right. channel okay, I get and you. I'm not really the thing they're there for. And they could take me or leave me. I mean, some people hate my voice, so they don't come back. Some people think I'm, you know, charming, which is rare, but, you know, they'll come back. But the people who go to my Flipper channel and watch me pull orders and tell random stories about getting diarrhea at Best Buy, they're the ones who are going to go to my cooking channel and they're going to watch me cook. They're the ones who are going to go watch my f movie review channel. They're going to watch this crappy podcast that we Your make. roller coaster riding yeah. channel. My roller coaster riding channel, my building channel, right? They're the ones who are going to do that because I am the reason they're at NC Flipper. So I think you're right, and I think your channel's more appropriate than my picker channel for a various uh, amount of content. I think there is a point, though, where you get way too far off the reservation, and if you become a cooking channel and also a picking channel, YouTube doesn't know who to recommend you to. Right, yeah, 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 okay, I And get that's that. I why get I deleted all my Minecraft content, because my channel started as a Minecraft channel, really? and I had many, yeah, I had I many videos that. with almost a million views, and when wow. I decided to do picking, I killed them all. 
right? Like six mm-hmm. months after I started doing picking and said, oh, I think I can really do this. I had to kill them all because my click through rate wasn't very good on the channel as a whole because pickers were seeing Minecraft videos. And I'm like, I don't want to watch a Minecraft video. And then Minecrafters were seeing picking videos and saying, I don't want to watch that. And so YouTube, since they were confused, they didn't know who to recommend me to. Mm-hmm. There, okay. there's your content creation part of this reselling podcast. I like Carrie, that, anything to add? That's, what I, that's what I want to hear. I hope nobody's bored. <laughs> no, that, no, honestly, that's we, where, what I wanted to add was that in five years you're going to be doing a, a roller coaster vlog. You're going to do a theme park vlog. Yeah. You're going to be doing neither of what you're doing right now. Because I know, <laughs> All right. having hung out with you, how obsessed you are with with just I roller coasters. I love it. Coasters. You, that is the thing, in my opinion, that you love the most. That's like true. It, I love that more than cooking and more yeah. than reselling. If I could just yeah. ride roller coasters all day. <laughs> And, you know, honestly, like with me in five years, I would definitely love to see if I could pull off having more sports card related content. But I always wanted it within the realm of picking. I don't want to be a sports card channel. I want to be right. a, f- you know what I'm saying? I don't know if I could pull yeah, that off. So what what I always saw is like, you know, like, you know, one, one of my biggest things that I hate about my channel or something that I don't like, I don't like my, my name, the art of resale. I don't like it. I love your name, dude. I don't like it because I feel like, I feel like I feel like a couple of years from now I wouldn't, I yeah I'm still gonna be reselling you know it's something it's like a trade like it to a trade, it, it will never go away it's something I will do forever so for the rest of my life you know, but like I want to be able to do other things and people just watch it you know what I mean I want to be like a fun goer guy I want to be able to make videos about anything because like I remember like having like i don't have these thoughts anymore but i remember having thoughts like damn it you know i gotta go yard zone i gotta go do this i gotta why is it hard why is it hard and i've heard people say they don't want to do multiple channels but why is it hard to have another channel for that it's just not it's just hitting switch account and uploading to that one instead it's no effort and then you just tell your people be like yo check out this yo check out this yo check out this and the people who want art will go and check that out and they'll stick around over there too because like i see other creators just putting everything (sighs) just on one thing you know what i mean like who like people with like 50 million followers or like yeah no (laughs) you're not there yet but i really feel like that could that's the way to grow though you know what i mean just you doing things i think that I think that you can do that. I think that Josh does it more than most people in this space. Harry Tornado. You know, he definitely has a variety show in a sense. Like, he's got a lot of different things going on. Sometimes he's buying shoes and sometimes he's buying sneakers. You just never know what he's going to buy. It could be boots, but it's definitely going to go on your feet. (laughs) I believe that ultimately, like, the only thing we can offer any viewer or anybody watching our stuff is is ourself you know like that's the only thing that differentiates us, ourselves so i kind of see what you're saying yeah, our, yeah, yeah. is our personality but to a certain extent with the classical garage sale video and everything um there's just like you're right there dave's right there's a certain bit that that is just they want to be in your position point of view and they want to feel like they're at the yard sale a lot of people want to come on and say oh you missed this you missed that yeah, or yeah, oh yeah. that was you know that's i think a big draw to it uh, I think it, implementing, and that's something I've wanted to do for a while. I haven't done implementing a second camera so they can get to know you a little bit more. Might be a bridge for you to be able to, you know, show more and more of your personality. Well, I we're all trying to ha- pretend we know we understand these algorithms, like eBay yeah, algorithm, yeah, yeah, no, well, the TikTok algorithm, the YouTube fact, algorithm. Like, no one that's understands any no, of these things, you know, but, no, but the we thing look. Is- what, what I was going to say is we look at, like, the history and if you have or if i have a a video that does poorly that not a lot of people click because they don't like the thumbnail they don't like the title then it's pretty common that my next four videos will also perform poorly because youtube just won't recommend me as much and so if you decide to randomly post like a street racing video actually that sounds pretty cool i'd watch that okay if you're about to just post a video about like you know taking a dump and you know only 10 percent of your viewers watch that versus your normal quantity the real ones the ones who really care youtube will take now if you're if you're always putting out the most amazing content in every category you're going to push past the algorithm because everything you put out is going to explode right and you have a lot of editing skills so maybe you can do it that way but me i'm terrible at everything so i have to be careful i feel like this i feel like if that's what you want to do art i feel like it's something you have to plan and you have to just implement implement things over time like a little bit more of your personality in this aspect of your video, a little bit more of that to the point where it would totally make sense that, hey, man, we just went, I don't know, whatever you want to do. We went to the go-kart place today or whatever. You know what I mean? I think it would work, but I feel like it has to be planned. And like right. you slowly you slowly build your channel and your universe. 
the yeah, art I mean, that's of the resale universe like, out and out. And I out. could I could literally be like cooking some biscuits and be like, hey guys, just getting ready for yard sales this Saturday morning. I'm cooking. So- <laughs> yeah, I, I could you. make that work. I, I get what you're saying. I, get I can make that yeah. work. Yeah, and just tie it in, and then slowly it builds See, I like into this, a bro. wider. I don't, I, I don't get to talk like this with nobody else. So that's yeah. why I ask you this stuff. You know, because you guys, like I said, people look up to you guys and what you guys do. I think you guys do a great job of what what are you guys you. doing. So Please continue. I, Please. You know what I mean. Anything else? That's what I like. Yeah, he compliments us way more than Kevin. Maybe I'm I know. I like this. Yeah, he's like. A I'm cool, being serious. I'm being honest. Version I'm being, of Kevin. I'm being, yeah. I'm being very sincere. Like you know, because Thank like you, you know, the things I'm telling you guys, bro. Imagine how many people really want to ask you this stuff. You know what I mean? How many people want to sit down and be able to talk to you guys one on one like this? You know. Well, and this I, is so we we went to the uh, the prison of profit convention, right? And a bunch of people were asking. It was fun. A bunch of we should talk about the boss reseller remix more, Carrie. We'll <laughs> yeah, we should do that. But too, okay, man. okay, listen. So we were we were at this convention, and a lot of people came up to me and were asking questions, like Art was like about how to grow a YouTube channel and stuff like that, and and you know should I start making videos and or should I start making videos again? I heard a lot like they had already done some and then they stopped, oh. and I was like I was like, well, why do you want to make videos? And like, well, you know, I want to have good content that a lot of people watch on YouTube. And I said, okay, but like, do you have time to make two or three videos a week every single week for two years and make zero dollars in money? And if you can say yes, that I can do that, I can enjoy that, I can love that, love every moment of it, not be bitter about it then yes, do a YouTube channel. You know, But if you can't tell, do that, you should not even start. <laughs> what, what I, oh, 100%. What I tell people, because well, believe me, I get this I get the same question all the time, you know, just as much as you get, get it on Instagram or questions or remarks or anywhere you guys go, you know, a yard sales or anywhere I meet somebody, people tell me, like, hey, I want to start doing this. I want to start, you know, YouTube, TikTok, whatever it is. You know what I mean? But like, you know, I feel like people, people think, you know, you know, like the standard, you know, everybody wants to be a hair tornado. Everybody wants to be a Cincinnati picker. Everybody wants to be a froggy flips. Everybody wants to be carry. Everybody wants to be all these things. But, you know, it's like making like everybody thinking, you know, I've heard this term. Everybody thinks, you know, making the NBA is a standard. You know, like if you don't make the NBA, if you're not, if you don't make it to be like Josh, you're Harry. a failure. Because like, you know, what I mean, because like, like, bro, like, do you remember when you first got a thousand subscribers, how happy you were? Yeah. Oh yeah. You remember when you first forever. got a thousand views? How happy you were? How and proud okay. you were of yourself? Yeah. Excuse my language. Sorry, yeah. but like how proud? You, sorry, you're gonna bleep that up. But of how happy <laughs> you were, you know what I mean? But like it's like those little perspectives of stuff like that, you know? Like I remember all yeah. that stuff. Like where I'm yeah. at right now, I'm super happy. But you know, what I mean, I tell people just you know keep your perspectives to yourselves. You know, be happy where you're at. Well, and I've had a lot of people tell me they want to start content creation to sell they more want to be on like eBay. You. They want to be like well, they Kevin. want to they sell want to more like on you. eBay, though. They think that, like, it's going to generate sales. And it just – it generates okay. some sales, right? But it's not – a yeah. massive amount of sales it's not it's not worth the time you're gonna have to put in it because you're gonna have to yeah. put in it <laughs> three hours a day and you're gonna maybe get an extra sale a week like it's well, not put in worth the time to actually resell it just you list a for three hours reseller that's yeah. the truth and here's the thing like I, I lost my train of thought that's the thing yeah and so when his train of thought went by <laughs> art opened up his bottle are you having trouble with that bottle by the way i just got it right now sorry uh okay gotcha i wanted you to have one of those ones that like shoots up in the air and like you know uh, oh i got it over the, the train ends. came back you Hallelujah. have to it's back guys it's back into the station don't lose it hurry up hurry up i'm trying i'm trying to. <laughs> yeah. here's the thing like like you said like are you willing to do this for two years without making any money you have yeah. to enjoy the process of creating you have to, to at some level you have to enjoy the challenge of getting better and self improvement because if you don't, you're just there's always an, somebody bigger, there's always somebody better, there's always somebody making more money doing this who's more creative, who's more interesting, a better editor, a more good looking, whatever it is. So you have Definitely to enjoy the process. Yeah. yeah, that's a tough one. It's just me well, and comparison in general me. is the thief of joy. They say right, like yeah, it is. comparing yourself to you know other people in like oh their ninety day total is four times mine. Their following is ten times mine, and and getting okay, so focusing on that crap really can right, get you motivate. Down. You just can't like let that be the only reason you do it. All right, so how you were saying right there? So my next video. Because you're posting this on Tuesday, I'm posting one on Tuesday as well. So my next video that I planned out that that I just recorded, I'm sure you saw a TikTok where I was wearing a Mario suit, right? Yes, yes. I saw that. Yes. So the thing, the, the reason for me wearing this suit, because I told my brother, I was like, one, we're gonna take advantage because Mario's trending right now. It Halloween's is. coming. I'm gonna wear a Mario suit. But then I, in the beginning of the video, I talk about how I don't care how I look like, I don't care what I, t- how I talk, I don't care how I act. 
I'm going to go to these yard sales regardless, and I'm going to make money regardless. I don't care if I look like a fool, and I'm going to show everybody it doesn't matter. Because like, how many people tell say that they want to start making content, but like how you said, it doesn't it doesn't matter how you start because people are like, oh, the light is bad. I have a bad camera. I have to do this and that. You know what I mean? What's more of a being a, looking like a fool than walking to somebody's house looking like a Mario, right? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, no, that's a good point. Yeah. <laughs> hey, how did that go, by the way? Well, I'll watch your video. I'll oh, watch your wait, video. great, bro. Great. Yeah, I, check like, out I don't his know video. how I'm going to edit this video. I don't know how I'm yeah. going to edit this video out. But I, I, I really think it's going to come out really great. I, I came out super positive, super. I found great items, and it was it was awesome. It was just great. Like, okay. Yeah, and, well, but you're right on that. Like, if you want to create, if that's something you want to do, you should just do it. I know people who have massive YouTube channels here, here in Vegas that only use their phone. To, to film oh, everything. Yeah, yeah, you don't yeah. need GoPros. You don't need yeah. anything crazy. Yeah. I want you guys to take it to the next level. You're in the same freaking city. Why can Carrie not be Bowser? Okay? Yeah. You're yeah. Mario. Carrie's Bowser. I want to be the princess. I want to be the princess. You get the niche lady could be the princess. Okay? You got all these people there that you could get like a whole cast of characters. Yeah, let's Who's going to be Yoshi in the Vegas crew? Mikey? Mikey Bags of Money. Yeah, Mikey Yoshi. would be Yoshi. Yeah, yeah totally. <laughs> Uh, wait, who's? Oh, Jimmy doesn't live there. That's right. I forgot Jimmy doesn't. Sunny, live there. we got to be Sunny. Sunny, oh, yes, yeah, Sunny. Luigi. Sunny is a Luigi. That's perfect. Yes. Okay, so Carrie, please. This is a reselling yes. show. Tell us about the Boss Reseller Remix. All right, yeah. yeah, man. So I didn't even know I was going first off until like that. I think I said last episode that they invited me to go to the remix. So I got in, guys, um, for free. Um, so that was cool. And Don ended up going the last day as well. And, you know, it's similar to FlipCon. There's going to be panels, and it's a lot of hobnobbing and schmoozing with an H, right? And yeah, you just schmoozing. I don't know. I'm going to have to Google it. Go on. I felt like me and Harry Tornado became closer friends. I don't oh, know. If you're listening, Josh, I felt like we, we, we just went up a notch. Connected. We went from, like, we're, like, pretty good friends now. Friends just, to lovers? Well, no. I mean, give it, <laughs> give it time, guys. These things have to develop naturally. But, yeah, no, we hung out with him a bit, and it was a good time. There was a lot of stuff. They had Sour Okay, but tell us about the panels. Tell us about, you know, tell us more about the vendors. Come on, fill us up. Okay, you want, like, reselling information. Yes. My favorite panel, honestly, my favorite panel was the social media, like the YouTube one with Harry Tornado and the Niche Lady. That was my favorite. There was a lot of good things I gleaned about making content from that. Also, um... The con or this... Um, panel wise, I think I like the panel anything. overall. What was better, FlipCon or this? I think I liked FlipCon a little bit better overall, okay. honestly, if I'm being honest. But it's just different. It's just different. The thing I liked about there was just like little. FlipCon things. had a lot of free food. How much that, free that's food a was ma- there? That's a major thing. Is the food situation at FlipCon was definitely like a lot of free food. Um, and then here's a little thing that I liked that either one of these places can do, and I think it would help a lot. I liked the table situation at FlipCon where everybody was at a table and that was kind nice of, yeah could like co- communicate. communicate during yeah. the, um at at um boss reseller remix it was kind of just chairs looking forward i felt yeah. like i don't know it was some little subtle things like that um there wasn't here's one thing i will say loud music at a lot of the events at boss reseller remix i've lost my voice a bit trying to communicate with people it yeah. was really hard really hard and one you know so I, I like the idea of not having blaring music at these kind of things. Um, or a place that, like, to go, end. right? At FlipCon, or they a, had their party. It was loud in the party room, but you could go out in the hall you could go and the outside lobby and it. you could chat. You could go outside at the Boss Reseller Remix and talk. But it was, was nice there a lot of people outside or there they was, were all inside? Was. Okay. That's good then. Were there more but people I mean, at the Remix or a FlipCon? I'd say FlipCon, probably slightly oh, more. Okay. I mean, but really? they both okay. were heavily attended and they both... Um, you know, had great success. I mean, I heard nothing but good things from people at both of the events, honestly. I, I don't know anybody that went to FlipCon. Well, a couple of people, you know what I mean? But the ladies that, are, that ran it, I, I've never knew them. Don't know. I If you put them on the line, I can't even pick them out. You mean the Boss Reseller uh, Remix, right? Not FlipCon. Yeah, yeah, yeah the Boss Reseller Remix. Okay, I get gotcha. you. I'm not trying to be rude or anything. Like, I don't know who they are. Um, I don't know yeah. who ran or anything like that. But Well, they put on they put on a really good experience. They set it up well. Um, it's just basically the same as FlipCon. It's the West Coast version of FlipCon. Who would um, win panels. in a fight, though? West Coast versus East Coast. I mean, I'm from the West Coast, so. Yeah, but, know. dude, come on. You'd come on. Our team. You'd be a turncoat. <laughs> you'd be a turncoat. <laughs> well, here's the thing. Another big thing about FlipCon for me is, you know, Art and the Trash to Cash boys were there. Oh, that is you true. Know what I mean? that did make it not, better, none yeah. of you guys were at this event. I Man. felt like I knew more people at FlipCon than I knew here, too. Yeah. 
Okay. And so tell us about the vendors. Like you said, you sat down with eBay and chatted for a couple hours. Like what the heck do you talk to eBay about for hours? I can't, I can't disclose any of that. Oh, what? Come on. Disclose it. Disclose it. (laughs) We talked a lot about it. Carrie tells all. There's my thumbnail. Carrie tells all. (laughs) Now what did eBay say? Tell us something. Give us something. Well, they talked about the fact that they're a buying and selling platform and they're going to continue <laughs> continue along that line. No, we just I mean, we just had a good really good discussion. Did I, they make uh, you with, sign an NDA? No. I then you can wanna, tell us everything. <laughs> no continue, NDA. I want to continue to have a relationship with my best oh, friend And you eBay. think eBay is going to watch this show to no, an hour not. and 20 minutes. Come on. <laughs> well, my friend uh, that I talked with does watch the show. Um, so oh, I want to make sure that eBay I the eBay guy. Discussion. Yeah, he's the cool. Awesome. He watches he's cool. TTC. He watches, yeah, he does. He watches TTC. He likes it a lot. He's a big fan. Oh my gosh, Yo, we eBay. talked a lot about you know just the future of eBay and 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 things we can you know eBay can improve on and also like things that it's doing correctly. Honestly, hmm. uh, there's some nuance to that. But overall, I like how when he's talking about eBay, he says we like he now works. I am now. That's a part interesting. Of eBay. eBay is is life. eBay yeah, is right. love. All right, add to this. Um, eBay, um, yeah, help me out. How about that? I need more sales, please. More sales. Yeah, did I, you talk to him about the algo? Maybe get us a little juice sales numbers, yeah. Carrie? I didn't believe yeah, in yeah. algorithm in eBay for the, for the longest. It's, it's not really a complicated one. List and you'll list, sell. List, yeah, <laughs> list no, and yeah. you'll uh, sell. Uh, 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 <laughs> It's stupid, though. Like, why does it have to be that way? Like, why can't it just be, hey, I have an item and it's, like, the cheapest and so mine sells? Like, it's just not that. I, just I, not. I don't know why. I think that's how it should be, but I'm not sure why that isn't the it's case. Weird. But, yeah, yeah, you have to feed the beast. You have to feed it. Well, maybe it's because, like, they have, like, a higher valuation if they have daily users, something like that. I don't know. Okay, and then you chatted with Whatnot. What a any, list perfectly. Did you talk to them all? Anything else worth talking about or just a, anything reselling related is not worth our time? Oh, uh, yeah. I mean, I they had uh, – the food trucks were pretty awesome. The food okay, was really good. good. That, yeah, that's no, it was. where the podcast should be focused. Okay, so what what food did you get? So I got first, – first day I got tacos, <laughs> man. I got three cheesy chicken tacos. Okay. And let me tell you, they were both cheesy and chicken, and they were tacos. How much were they? They were actually probably more than they should have been. They were like fourteen bucks, or no, twelve or something. For three? the hot dog, the hot dog was like eight bucks, and it was killer. But I didn't eat it because I'm trying to be healthy, so I decided to get a deep fried taco instead. That seems three less healthy, but okay. <laughs> yeah, and then the second day I had Jamaican jerk chicken, which was good. Okay. Which, but it was grilled. I think it was grilled. So I mean, that's so that was event good. was what three hundred bucks, three fifty. 349 i think and then how much you spend on food i spent on food myself um not much like maybe 50 bucks, 50 bucks with because don was there the second day yeah okay i mean yeah so value value 400 dollars value you think worthwhile um for the networking alone yeah you're gonna meet that's a lot of people that's always what it is dude that's always it is, what it is. that is what so it how is, do you though. create an event how do you create an event that's like just networking that's what that's, I want. Like that's the key. Because okay, so I went to the Top Golf Prison to Profit. Like it was fun and all, but oh, like, that? tell me that, please. Tell me that. Tell me. Tell me so everything. About that. Top first Golf. Day, okay. Okay. Well. Okay. First, first day. First. There was only one day. There was only one day, and oh. it was Top Golf followed by the bin store. Okay. And Top right. Golf. Actually, that's not true. They also met up at Golden Corral for the breakfast buffet. You know, pay for your own. Golden Crowd's still not good, guys. I don't know if you're curious. Business, they're still in business. They're still in business, and they're no. not great. They're not here in Vegas, right? I don't uh, think they so. Pro- they went out of business in my town too. They went out of business in Utah, at least the one near my house. So I went oh, there. I met. There. I met a lot of cool people at breakfast, but we were all tired, so there wasn't like a lot of connection at breakfast. I would say. You know, and then uh, we all went kind of shopping. Like everyone kind of separated, and we went to the Goodwill store. A lot of us did. And we like I went to the Goodwill with you know Kath and Nurse Flipper and with um, what's what's the guy's name? Oh, OBX Picker and yeah, just a bunch of other people. We all went to the. It's the, like one of your Goodwill. dear friends. You didn't. Remember I know. His name? I know. Uh, I was I was blanking out on the Viking. But I'm anyways, sorry, Eric. I'm we so were. <coughs> well, what you picking? <laughs> yeah. So we went. Yeah. What you picking? Yeah. <laughs> so we went to the Goodwill, and then you know after that we go to Top Golf. And Top Golf was fun, but it's actually not great for like a networking event, I'd say, because when you have fifty people, you have like eight bays, right? And everyone's focused on their own game, and basically you have to like walk away when it's not your turn, go over to another bay, and if it's not that person's turn, you guys can chat for like five minutes, but then you got to get back over there for your turn again. Okay. 
So it's actually, <clears throat> although it's fun and I actually prefer it because I don't really want to like be in conversations all day long. It was kind of nice. Um, I think like if you want like a solid networking event, I don't know if that was like the right place for it, even though it was fun. And then after that, we all went to this Amazon bin store, which Dante did both times. I love how he did this. He somehow talked with the owner and got them to restock their Amazon bins. Okay. And he also put in some of his own items for free. And he put in envelopes with cash in them that you could find as well. And everything was seven bucks except for the free envelopes and the free items. And you would just go out there. Every, we all entered at the same time. And everything's seven bucks and you just load up your car and just the group that was there, the only people at the bin store for as long as we wanted, right? That's a really good idea. Yeah, I mean, and that was no, fun. Like that. Like that. that part is super fun. I, and something- then... You- you can't pull that off here in Vegas. I feel like nobody can pull that off here in Vegas. Yeah, it's impressive. And so so that was super fun. And, you know, the way both both years, basically the way the real networking happened was like after all that, we went and met up at a hotel or at a, a bar or something like that. And everyone just chatted in there. But there wasn't really a solid like networking moment, I would say. And and all that to say, I think that honestly, for almost all these events, the real value is the networking. So it's like, what yeah. can you do to create an event that's pretty much all about networking and nothing else? Like, I think, and, and that's where FlipCon <laughs> was different. Um, not that there was necessarily like breakout sessions. It's just like there was there was time and space and, and a lack of noise that allowed a lot of networking to go on at FlipCon. Like you remember how it was, man. Like yeah. we would just be talking for an hour. You, you're talking for an hour and you just move one person over and you're talking for another hour. You move yeah. another yeah. person over and you're talking for another hour. Um, that was yeah. happening at the boss. It just, the music in, in some times, you know, not during the days, but at, at some of the bigger events, it was just so hard to, to actually have any kind of conversation uh, without going outside, which we did yeah okay yeah i i kind of hate that like the club atmosphere where or the bar atmosphere sometimes where it's just the music is so loud that you're just shouting across the table you feel like you're spitting on the people your breath probably stinks and like it's just uncomfortable that that's just an uncomfortable networking moment yeah 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 and so i i think there's a way like you gotta and so trash to cash like ours literally we did an event it was free we served food and we literally just had people hang out, but it was very short. Uh, you know, the only thing is we put it there as a convenience because people were already there at the 127. So it's like, hey, you're at the 127, you're shopping, <clears throat> you're usually done by dinner time. So why don't you come hang out with some other resellers? And I think that's cool, but like the question is, how do you expand that to a multi day event where you're really getting relationships out of it? That's the thing. Like, one thing I've learned from going to two events is I don't know if I have any desire to set up an event like that. You know what I mean? That's a lot of work, and you do need money to pull it off. Like, See, you need I, to look, charge I th- people. I think you're just saying that now because, like, imagine like two, three more years, say two, three, four, five more years of the growth you guys are having now. You guys could be able to do more crazy. We like, could, but know? ask Dave. I'm not the one to set stuff you up. Get right? That's not my personality. Like, I think I, you might be thinking, like, I think you're thinking. Like I'm not, I'm not thinking saying it in a negative way, but I think you're thinking peanut, peanuts now because like in the future, I really believe you guys are gonna be able to pull something off even better than what you guys are talking about right now. Like you guys are gonna be able to put, with you know, help of sponsors and stuff like that, like of your dream convention, your networking situation. Like I really believe that, you know what I mean? Because of right now, we're just thinking of right now at the moment, you know what I mean? But a couple years yeah. from now. Mm-hmm. I think we think of something like totally, totally like out this world. But what is it that costs money at these events? The venue has got to be the biggest cost. Yeah. So you'd have to find a way to do like a super cheap venue that's also great for networking and hanging out and stuff like that, right? Like. All right. So the way I think about it here in Vegas, because like I told myself, like, what if I were to do something like this, which I won't, but I just thought about it because here in Vegas, stores or businesses, small business, casinos or whatever it is. Uh, they have ballrooms and they just want people to come in. You know what I mean? You right, Carrie? Yeah. I think people would would not like you know, uh, give it out for free. But like, if you were to give them like, hey, we're bringing three hundred people here. If we can use a ballroom at your casino or whatever, you know, people it would be able to work. You know, I I think does that make sense? I'm sorry. Yeah. If it does. No, it does. I get what you're saying. I think the key is like if you want people from across the country to do this, right? Come and visit. There's and that's why the panels exist. I feel like because that's where the the value, like that's where 
like so you can get that inside information on you know how to grow how to like they had a wholesale panel which was really informative if you wanted to learn about how to do wholesale for example they had like a live whatnot auction i think those are the things that the only way you can do a couple day of it, you can't just like say, let's be in a room for two days and talk. But when you go to like a comic con or something, so this is an interesting thing. Oh, if you think right, of yeah. like every other convention, you go to a comic con, things like that, there's an exhibit floor with all your vendors, yeah. your, your companies, right? And then there's also breakout sessions that are optional. And there's yeah. more than one simultaneously. There's the wholesale convent, there's a wholesale speech or panel. There's the whatnot panel. There's the eBay panel. You can go to any of the three, but there's also just a hangout room where you can just not go to one if and you they, want and not feel guilty for not. And boss you know. did have a reseller hangout room, and during some of the sessions, I, I went. That's when I, I was like talking that. to the guy yeah. from eBay. I just went. We just went into a room and talked. Yeah, so that's like your exhibitor, your exhibitor hall, right? Like you've got your people who want to like. Maybe that's where the money comes from. You know, instead of charging a bunch, you just get a moderately priced venue. You have multiple rooms where people can go to different panels, different times, or they can go to this area where they just talk to the vendors, the exhibitors, learn about their company, learn about their products. I mean, that's that's probably and then you charge like a moderate amount of money for some food or something. Yeah. I don't know. I mean, I, th I think all the events are great. I just want to, I think it'd be cool if someone like spent the time and effort, not me, but someone else spent time and that's, effort to think of an event. See that now. Like... You see that now. I'm telling you. <laughs> now I'm we're going to do another sure. trash to cash. We event. are. And I'm hundred percent sure we could get sponsors and we could make it big if we wanted to, but there has to be a certain amount of will on our three on the side of us, you know, to want to actually do all that work. And it's a lot of freaking work. I think it's one of those things like I don't I envy anybody having to do all that work. Yeah. Yeah. You get somebody to plan it for you. Duh. We know a guy. There's a guy in Florida who's already offered. So this is possible, but Kevin never called him. So maybe I need to call him. Yeah. Kevin the just trash, can't be trusted. Cash. He forgets. Winter bash. Dude, I don't know. I don't know. Kevin seemed concerned about it being in winter. He hates winter, he said. Yeah. Mm. Nobody likes it's it just, cold. Oh. Yeah, he's a, he's a bit aggressive about a lot of topics he needs to chill out about. Okay, so, I mean, this has been a show not about reselling at all, but I think it was a good episode. Thank when you for coming, Art. have ever talked Art. about reselling? I don't know. Make yeah. sure you check out Art's YouTube, his giant yeah, TikTok out, following. Guys. Art of Resale on both, right? TikTok, Instagram, oh, and YouTube. Facebook, yeah, Facebook, bro. Even all Facebook's blowing up. I got like a thousand people. He knows what's up. Month. You know what's yeah. up, dude. Facebook's A thousand what? Right like a thousand people in one month not even here's that. what i'll say i i can't say oh, much because those of, people are not real those people are not real Ooh, tread I lightly dave do. tread lightly I, buddy I, okay i'm under nda so i have to be careful with how i say this let me just say Everything on facebook is not real none of these people are real people <laughs> on Facebook. they're real they're just elderly art elderly <laughs> people are real yeah, elderly people, people yeah, are real I'll, art come on oh, but the no thing is, okay like, I'll, control. I'll reply to anybody this is the little nugget at the end of the show for the most patient listeners I, I can't, I'm under NDA, so I can't say much, but what I can say is that I, I am about to become the full and only owner of my Facebook page with 250,000 followers. And I'm pretty excited about that because in the past I have shared ownership with a company. <laughs> so that's all I'll say is that it's about to be my channel and I will have freedom to do whatever I want on it, say whatever I want on it, earn whatever money I can on it and things like that. And I'm pretty excited about that. Pretty okay, excited. I, I get what you're saying. Okay. Yeah. So it's pretty cool. Uh, suck it, Kevin. <laughs> so you yeah, never. You're, 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 not, you're not to reply to. You're not allowed allowed to rep, uh, to reply to people and stuff like that. Or no? I'm allowed, but like currently, the way it is now, I mean, like I, I'm allowed, but I'm supposed to stay. Like I'm not even allowed to post everything I want to on Facebook thanks yet. For watching, you know. Yeah, yeah, I'm not even allowed to post everything I want on Facebook yet, but I will be able to as of sometime in November. So I'm actually. You know, it may seem like bad news, but it's good news, I think. I think it's going to be a good thing. So I'm excited about it. Facebook is going to become one of my, like, really active platforms, I think. Yeah, I like so. Facebook a lot. I like Facebook. Yeah. Shout out to uh, uh, Matt Thrifter Schiffer, right? Matt yeah, Shifter. Shifter. Yeah, it's, it's Shifter. Yeah, he bro. shifts his car so fast, bro. Shiftless Thrifter. Awesome, Dude. Yeah. I love that guy. That dude's awesome. He gets the chef's kiss, bro. You've never yeah. given me the chef's Matt, kiss. Matt, I gave the piggy kiss. You did give the piggy kiss. Matt is yeah, the number true. one Matt followed is reseller shit. in the world. Yeah, but dude, he is awesome, bro. He is awesome. Yeah. All right, anything else you want to promote? NC Picker Shorts on YouTube, maybe? What else? No, 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 no. Uh, follow the auto resale on YouTube, TikTok, Facebook, everything. If you follow, if you subscribe to the YouTube channel, you get a slice of pizza. Yeah, have you heard of this YouTube channel called Smosh? They're really good. It's an up-and-coming YouTube channel. I think it's going to be big. 